Good morning, Nana here. We are now going to have a, a look at the contract manufacturing of Fusion today. So let me go on and share my screen now. You're going to see what exactly is contract manufacturing. Uh, nowadays, running a manufacturing industry becomes very, very difficult because uh, labor is really uh, uh, highly knowledgeable. And then uh, labor interest is also coming up like anything. Demand, they're demanding more amount of uh, benefits and other things. And so the profit margin uh, is now coming down. And then uh, managing them is also a big problem. And then uh, apart from our sales activity, we have to manage our own manufacturing uh, facilities also the production shops, the maintenance, everything uh, is working on the management. And so uh, the order of the day is outsourcing. So we have uh, in this uh, picture, the OEM is depicted, uh, original equipment manufacturer. So he outsources the entire manufacturing process to a contract manufacturer. And then, uh, uh, he, then finally, once so the sales order is made, this guy is going to ship it to the customers also. So this way it works. So we are going to see what how exactly it is going to work now. So uh, in my case, what happens? I have taken uh, the OEM as a Dell now, and then the contract manufacturer is Seagate. Seagate is manufacturing hard disk, and then uh, uh, <coughs> the OEM is is a Dell manufacturer, and then he has now outsourced the entire activity to the contract manufacturer actually. So how we are going to do? We are going to see this now. <coughs> So as and when we go ahead, we will be discussing about this uh, contract manufacturing activity. It's a huge one. I, I think it will not take approximately for me two hours or anything. So let us go on and see this. So first, I'm going to log in as a PRC00.instructor. I have already logged in now. So I will let me first of all log in now. So before we log in, what happens we go there? <clears throat> so I go to the tools and then I go to the security console. If I'm making any mistake, please then there you point out to me so that I will now be able to correct it actually. I go to the users now. So I put a PRC00, enter in now. My approximate time duration is th th two hours now, and maybe I'm go beyond. I'm not very sure about it. So first, let me go on the reason the password of PRC00 instructor on the instance. Welcome to three. Is it? And then let me edit and then add the rules. So we have a PRC all rule fine, that covers almost for the PR and PO, fine everything. But even then, uh, you may even need some more rules also. You know, if you want, I will not click on the add rules. For demo, demonstrating it. I go there. I will now, first of all, give the, take a copy of the application implementation consult. Go there and then paste it over here. And then I will now choose the ORA one and add rules. IT security manager. This is for security console activities. Application implementation concern is for that uh, setting up of the structure actually. Ora, select it. Some of you may not be knowing it, uh, but uh, remember this is not a training, it is a seminar. And so we will not be explaining each and every part of it in this place. Fine, it is just a seminar only. Employee role is, uh, uh, is a good role. And then paste it. It's an abstract role actually. Ora. Add it. Advanced procurement requester. Uh, that is not required actually because procurement manager, both of them are, are done in PRC all actually. Go to the inventory manager. Paste it over here. Ora. Arrows manager. Arrows manager. Ora. If you have any doubts, you can open up your mic and then speak to me at any point of time. There's one what to see role is there for all the cash. It is a GSE role. Just like a PRC all, it is a what to see role. Go there and then choose it and then give it to again operations manager this is for orchestration processes basically for monitoring the orchestration we can use it now so again there are seven roles there out of which this is a very important role production supervisor is for manufacturing and 
the manufacturing engineer i'm not going to create any inventory org for this training i will be using the existing orgs of 001 and then 002 for here the pricing administration these two things i will not give you a bit later no fine i'll not show you the course code if you don't give how exactly it's going to be i'll not show it oh no uh, okay i will okay we'll see okay. now as soon as you do it what happens you run the ess job for syncing the setups in the transaction systems if you can that now and save and close you also open rules for the one now So once it is completed, we'll now run the <coughs> import user role. Click on the home, the pay, and then I click on the set, set up and maintenance. Uh, go there. Okay. Search. Sorry, we have to go via schedule to process first. Okay. Go to the tools. Then go to the schedule the process. Oh God, schedule the processes. Now there are all sorts of nonsense over there. Customize the springboard now. Then uh, bring the schedule the process name. Tools. Run the schedule process. Then let me run this import user role. This will also give you a glimpse of your manufacturing. Also, find the setups of manufacturing is also taught in this seminar. Actually, not fully, but uh, to a certain extent, we'll be doing it. Click on OK, and then the take also. So wait for the concurrent to complete, and then of course, one more right now. So before we log in as a PRC 00 dot instructor. A small a bit of marketing now. Uh, in fact, I am now selling my records at the website oraclenana.com. You can see in the top now. The biggest advantage which you gain by studying under me is what I will be mentoring you, and then I will now clarify your doubts. And then if I am unable to clarify, I have a big group of around 450 people in my Telegram actually. So you can even uh, post your queries over here, and then uh, somebody or other will answer you. So by which uh, you will not be left behind uh, or a totally uh, what happens in a dark place. So that's the biggest advantage. We have a very good after sale support. And then uh, the coverage is, uh, many of them will be having a very high level coverage, whereas it's not so I cover to a great depth. And then it will be really beneficial. And then there are plenty of advantages which are written now. And then uh, you can just go through them now. <clears throat> the entire documentation of uh, records and docs is approximately 100 GB in size. Now. And then uh, if you go to the second tab region of SCM agenda, I'm in the home page actually. So click on the SEM agenda, you will now find there are 11 of my records are available for you. And then uh, eight of bought and sold records are available for you. These records will not have any documentation actually. Uh, whereas here you will now get both docs and records actually. And then uh, uh, in, the, in between there is a link for this. Now I click here for agenda, the individual modules. <coughs> if you click on it, your PDF page will open up. It's approximately 40 pages in size now. You can have a look at the agenda. What I'm covering in various trainings, actually. So, if you have a specific expectation, you can uh, go through this now. And if it's all okay, then it's okay. Other, and if everything is okay, uh, what you can do is you can even click on the pay button over here now. And there's a pay button. And click on the pay button. And then this is basically a payment gateway. You can fill up your name, email, and then phone number, and then next, and then make a payment via your debit card or credit card or net banking or whatever it is. So that we can do it now. Or otherwise, if you feel like you click on the payment details over here, you can even register in my bank over here now. So there's a bank details over here. So there are four banks that can register it. And then if you're from abroad, uh, you can either use uh, the Bionex fast remit or remitly or instagram. Then all my details are available over here. So you can use this now. And then uh, it's a, what's called a continuous journey. It's not a one-time sale. And then uh, we will be assisting you in your implementations also. And then uh, uh, on support also. <clears throat> so that's a big one. And then you can pass on the word to others also. OracleNana.com is my website. So thank you for listening to it. So we'll come back now. <clears throat> if you have any doubts, you can ask. Okay, 
this is all running. You can contact me always at any time, but uh, oh, I have forgotten to tell the contact details also. So if you see this at the bottom, there are the contact details. So on uh, either on the mobile or WhatsApp or on the mail, you can contact me at any time. It is on the payment will be getting it. Okay. Now I will now log out and log in. <clears throat> uh, no sign in, sign in. So then go inside. <coughs> So let me go and then log in as a PRC 00 dot instructor. I'm going to log in. So I given so many rules over here now. <coughs> Comes over here. So click on the springboard and then customize the springboard. And I don't want sales. Separate implying is okay. Separate model is not required. Payments is not required. Product is not required. Expenses. Dishum, dishum, dishum now. Tools. So whatever is required, only keep it minimal so that we won't be having much of a problem and viewing it now. Gentle accounting is not required. Intercompany accounting means not required. Configuration is not required. The budget you control is not required. <coughs> so likewise, whatever is not required for this training, whatever we remove it so that it will be uh, compact and then it will be looking neat actually. Partner management. My client is not required. Help desk is not required. Product is required. Accounting distribution, benefits administration, subscription management, contract management. So click on OK now and we'll see whether it has got reduced or not. Okay, got it. So we have got a very uh, limited one over here now. So if you add one more, two more, if I add it, it will come in two lines actually. I will now add sales as well as the supplier portal. And then click on OK. 10 means what? It will be coming in two lines actually. Okay, so it has come in two lines. It's okay. Now it's come. And go there, click on it. So we'll now go here and then have a look at it. So uh, we will now have an all items price for our uh, uh, this thing. No fine. Uh, for uh, sales order, I'm going to make it. No fine. We'll make all items price. We'll go there, click on it. So we'll now go to the what's called order management. And then you click on the pricing administration. And then here, if you go there, click on it. You won't be getting the pricing at all. Fine. The prices and other things are not coming because the rule is not added actually. I just purposely not made it. No fine. Let us now go there and add it. Pricing administrator role is required for making the price. Now, we'll click on it. Go there and then go to the home and then I give the pricing administrator role. And go to the what's called tools. <clears throat> Where the tools here? I given uh, IT security manager, isn't it? Oh, yeah. oh, no, I have oh, hidden it or what? Oh, tools, I have hidden it. I will now have what? Security console. The remaining, let me all remain. Schedule process security consoles. Yes. Oh, these two are required for us. Security. I will go to the security console. I'll query your user PRC. Anybody has got any doubts? Talk to me. No, sir. Tell me. Tell me. Add role. I'm unable to hear you actually. <coughs> Pricing administrator, I'm doing it with Aura. So once when you give it, you will be able to give the price. Click on that. So click on save and close. So we go over there and then I try to give the price of my click on it. It is now added. Pricing administrator role is added to the PRC00 instructor now. You want to put it in place, order management, and then click on the pricing administration. And then now you click on it and then go there. And then now the pricing is now coming. Manage prices is now coming. Previously, it was not coming. So once when the pricing administrator role is given, it is now coming. Thank you on the manage prices. Let me query the corporate price list. Mark the one entering now. It's not coming. That means what? Data access is also required for this. Mark, if you go then click on search, no, it's not coming. So data access for the pricing administrator is also required. Thank you on it. It will not be the data access now. Thank you on the home page. And then go to the server maintenance and then give the data access for pricing administrator. I'm not going to manufacture everything on the 002 or in this case, what happens, what I'm going to do is this is 001 and then this is 002. So entire manufacturing activity will be done on this now, fine, not on this now. Uh, in reality, you will be using both the orgs actually. 
get access <clears throat> by users. Okay, go ahead. So click on plus one. And I'll put PRC <clears throat> zero zero instructor. The pricing administrator. So the security contacts will be business unit. Oh, yeah, I will say US one business unit. So click on uh, duplicate now. <clears throat> and then on the inventory org, find out that click on it on the inventory manager. Inventory manager. I will now add the 002 or the duplicate it and then on the warehouse manager. So again, the inventory or 002 because I'm going to do all the activities on 002 now. Check out the go there and then on the shipping agent, there is required for pick. Confirm actually for pick confirmation, you need this now. So once you perform a ship confirm, pick confirm, we need it. It's a zero zero two. <clears throat> we click on save and close now. So we given this much of a data access, we'll now come on and give as and when it is required. Actually. Now we click on the home and then we go there. And then here I go, I go to the what's called order management. And then I go to the pricing administration, and then I'm not going to give all items price of 100 actually. And then go to the manage price list, and then corp. Let me go read now. Okay, I'll search. So it's still not coming. That means what you have to log out and log in. So sometimes uh, of giving data addition, what happens? You have to log out and log in. So click on confirm and then come out of it, and then log in now. So go to the auto management, go to the pricing administration, click on it. Up, entering. You got it now. You make it big. So that it is a corporate segmental prices when you click on it. That is the one which is used by vision actually. Then go there. And then here in this place, I go to the all items now. And then let me create an all items price for all the items actually. So I am in the all items area. I click on plus now. And then the first thing is what you have to give the units of measures for each for each and every units of measures, we can give a price. So click on it. I'm sorry, I should create I click on plus here now. So click on plus here. And then it is each, and then click on create charge. Go down. And then I will load your price of That's it. You can even allow the manual adjustments. So that the start date is an important one. Then give okay. That's it. The price list for the all items is now created. I completed this activity. So for which we have to have the pricing administrator role as well as the data access for the BU also is required for giving the price. Now, data access for 001 is also required, but I'm not going to do any activity on 001 at all. I will tell you about what you have to do. Right? There are plenty of activities there to do, but I'm not going to do, I will not do everything on 002. The inventory manager is not given, shipping manager is given, warehouse manager is given. And is not I, step number five is now completed, item creation. So I'm now coming into item creation, actually. So what I'm going to do is I will now create these five items over there now. So I will now take a copy of it. Now, fine. First item is what? Motherboard. So the motherboard on 16 GB RAM or in the first org, in the source org. And then in this place, we'll be having what? Uh, on the right hand side, we'll be having one Seagate hard disk as well as a laptop service item. And then finally, the product, the finished goods product, this is the FG, which I'm going to manufacture. So we have two items. One is a real physical item, and then the laptop service item is a logical item. And then here we have two physical items. And then the 16 GB RAM as well as the two TB Seagate hard disk are serial controlled actually. So they are all serial controlled. Whereas the first one is not serial controlled. So we are going to go and then create these five items for our requirement. So since I have, uh, I will not use the same B01. So take off it, <coughs> go to this place. So click on done and then come out of it and then we'll now go to the home icon and then go to the product uh, management and then go to the product information management and then I'm going to get the item. So click on it. And then I click on create item. 
any doubts you have you just ask me there and there now so the master org is 000 on mission now there is a item org actually oh that you correct no coming so you throw away the finished good and then bring in the purchased item template and then apply it so it's not giving you a warning it doesn't matter because when somebody is now working on the ef factory like you honest and then paste it on this place so the first item is now getting created it is the purchased item template which i have given now paste it over here so you go to this place it's underscore description life cycle phase i am making it as a production correct and then go down in the specifications i go there so what i am going to do is the build in loop is no actually fine supply type is operation pull okay. when the operation is getting completed it will be pulled actually fine supply is operation pull upon operation completion it will be getting pulled and then back to back is no and then it's a make or buy is okay fine it is required only for planning actually and then as i need to both the orders and then i will now go to the purchasing and then i will also give a list price on this area now So have a habit here. Even though I'm not going to buy it, actually, fine. Just give it a place. So this much is sufficient, actually. I know that. So we are now made only in the manufacturing area. It's an operation pool. Fine, it's okay. And that's it. I know that. If you want to then go to the association, then let me associate to both the ox zero zero one and then zero zero two. So good actions and then go to self plan. <coughs> so I'm now going on zero zero entry now. I will add it to both the ox zero zero one and then zero zero two. I'm adding it up. I click on apply and then click on done. Now that's it. We have completed the creation of the first item with the operation pull. I mean, just look at it. It will be operation pull. Operation pull. Okay. So give a save and close now. The Dell motherboard is ready. We go there and then take over the next one. Is that 16 GB RAM? So click on it and then I'm going to create an item. Click on create item. So we are creating this item, second item. The master or the first one, item, second item will be residing in both the places actually. Then again, throw it out. Then go up. Then I put the purchase item to play. So here it's also same now. Everything is almost same, but here is a push. Push is a powerful one where the picking rule will come into picture, and then it will be allocating it. Fine. So that uh, if you have a push type of a component, then it will be uh, what is called exactly. Uh, it will now meet your middle management requirement of what to allocate and then what to not to allocate. I'm going to click on it. Push one. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to paste it over here. Paste it over here. Underscore description. <clears throat> Life cycle is production. Then go to the specifications. So this is going to be push one. So push will be basically allocated. We will now be creating a movement request as well as a pick confirm for this activity for this one. I'm going to go to the purchasing. Then not going to go there. So there's only one. There's only difference. Other than things are not major important. Not going to go there. So here is a serial control. I'll now go to the inventory and then I make it as a serial control now. Click on the inventory. Go down and then in this place I will now make it as a dynamic entry. So dynamic entry, I'm giving it now. I'm going to go to the association. So let me associate to both the arcs. Zero zero one and then zero zero two actions, and then go to select nine. Now. So you go to add it to both the arcs. Zero zero and then entry. Zero zero one and then with that control, I'm selecting the second also. Think the control. That's it. So the second item, which is the serial control item, is now getting created. Seven close. Now we go for the third item. Three, four, five will be available only on the second org and not on the first org actually, because the supplier is now going to manufacture the hard disk and then he is going to use it for assembling the laptop actually. The laptop will be assembled by him and then he will be putting it and then he will now put our item of motherboard as well as the 16 GB RAM into the laptop actually. So we are supplying him these two components, whereas he is manufacturing this component and putting it and then this is the service which he is charging for for the assembly is charging and the service item is a logical item and then this is the finished good which we are going to manufacture on this. So you now go there and then take over the third item of first place. Any doubts? So click on create item. Zero 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 is the R. Again, throw it out and then take the purchase and interpret. 
So this is also serial controlled. So the 16 GB RAM as well as the hard disk are serial controlled actually. Because this happens like this in many places actually. So that's why I'm trying to simulate the near uh, practical scenarios actually. So click on the specifications. And then uh, that was a push and then this is an operation pool only. Find the remaining are all operation pool. I'm not keeping it assembly pool is coming. I know that make it as an operation pool. So go to the inventory and then I'll make it as a serial control. Dynamic entry. And that's it. So dynamic and then it's operation pull. <coughs> the next second also push actually. And then go to the associations. If you make a mistake, please then there you pour it to me. Otherwise, later on I'll be finding it difficult to demonstrate it actually. Have you given any value or the price? Ah yeah, price I will give you. Price. And the contract manufacturing not required to be enabled for this item. No, no, no. This item is not required. Contract manufacturing is not required for this item actually. Uh, they're not done. I will not go to the specifications and then I will know your price. <clears throat> it's customary to have a price basically. And that's it. I go that to it. Contract manufacturing is required only for the MG actually. Okay. Go, there. <clears throat> go to the what's called associations and then I can move there. The third item which you're creating it now. Like that. And then uh, go to these two and click on apply and then click on done now. Oh, it's already done actually. Okay, any other thing I have forgotten? So I know that go to the specifications and again see it's an operation pool actually. Third item will be an operation pool. Uh, in the manufacturing. Do we need to check the planning methods? Nothing. Planning method is not applicable for the component at all. It is applicable only for the parent action. Okay. Save and close. <clears throat> In fact, if you see, the demand will be coming either from a sales order or from planning action. This is called a supply request. So supply request for the contract manufacturing item will be coming either from a sales order or from uh, what's called your uh, uh, planning. So planning will be giving an output. To make it <clears throat> so we will not try to simulate it for the sales order to going to be able to make command action so the third item is not done no, no, no. so we'll now go for the fourth item it is a service item so here he is going to charge for the entire activity actually so his services of assembling the laptop he is going to do it by this item actually So once when you are stopped talking, you please mute your mic so that otherwise you won't be disturbing others actually. The fourth item which I'm making it now. The purchase item. Is it only a description? Somebody's mic is still on. So here, the fourth item. Here is the, the fourth item is again operation pull now. Here, this is a contract manufacturing is enabled for this item. Actually. So enabled for this one. Contract manufacturing is enabled. So, go there. so here it is an operation pull. And then we will now say contract manufacturing is going to be yes. But it is not going to be manufactured actually. The contract manufacturing is this for this one. And then uh, you go to the purchasing and then I give the value of your, this price. And then inventory is not having any control. So only the second and third item are having a serial control. They're not having any control actually. So this make or buy is a meaningless for this item actually. That's it, fine. This item is also created. So it's operation full. And then go to the associations that will be associated with the arts. The actions will be select NAT. So the laptop service item, once again, here the price will be exactly whatever he is going to charge actually. The price. So his assembly charges, we are going to mention only. So in this place, go to the specifications. You specify the assembly charges actually. You go to the purchasing. So he is saying, let us say he is not going to charge 200 rupees, 200 dollars now. So this will be the assembling charges actually. This is for costing purposes actually. 
the cost will be done. Which charge, in which charge we will have this, sir, in contract or in a master order? Or... Yeah, we are putting into the master order and then it's going to assign to the child order and it will be Okay. So, in this place, so uh, this laptop service item will be the complete charges of whatever he charge. Sometimes what happens, he will not charge on this, his supplies actually, because it will be getting unnecessarily uh, escalated actually. So you will say, my charge is 200, this Seagate uh, hot disk alone will be higher than 500 dollars. So in that case, what happens, uh, his charges will be unnecessarily getting ramped up. So you will not say, I charge this, this is only you're going to give it to me. This is for the product you're buying from me actually. So they will not give. So whichever way they give it, accordingly you do it. If uh, it is included in this now, you have to make it as a zero price actually. Remember. So the way in which he's doing it, he'll do it. <coughs> so it's not done. So we are not given it now. Fine. What is the purchasing? We are given the price. We are the manufacturing. It's operation pull now. That's it. When go to the association, then it'll be associated with the second org. Uh, oh, I you don't have to associate with the first org at all. And, and you have to remove it. So the third, fourth, and fifth has to be associated with the second org. It doesn't matter. Even if you associate, it doesn't matter. No, that you got it. And then that's it. So the laptop service item is now done now. Seven close. The final item is now coming up, here, which is going to be FG. Take it all So the laptop FG is now manufacturing it. Then the final item. So click on here. So zero zero zero. So FG template. I'm keeping it as such now. Click on it. If the recording goes away, also please tell me. Sometimes not happens. The recording goes away. Don't take control actually. You just see on the left top on this description, and everything is there now. On the specifications. So yeah, first of all, build in represents, and then the contract manufacturing is such. Fine. You go to the specifications and go to the manufacturing. Then also build in represents, yes, and then the contract manufacturing is also yes. So these two are on on the main area, and then the supply type. Uh, the supply type is uh, not much of a use because it's the FG and so it does not, not having any significance at all. Fine, go there and then make it as Only when you are, uh, what happens, doing a rework or repair, at the time the supply type will be coming as a prominent. So, but it is normally the FGs will be having an assembly tool as a supply type. Back to back is yes, no, fine. The back to back has to be yes, no. So, go to the sales and order management. So, here it's uh, this and this and then assembly tool. And then go to the sales and order management. And then here we are going to make the back to back as yes. Go to the sales and order management in this place. Make it this. Fine. Here it is, we are going to have a GOP for this now. Fine. So back to back is this now. Uh, okay. Then afterwards, uh, uh, make or buy. Here uh, the planning the recommendation comes in picture. So in the uh, manufacturing area or in the planning area, if you go to the planning area, you go to the planning. So click on the planning. So here, if ACP or the planning circle is going to do, it will now have a look. Fine. If you make it the make. So the make recommendation will be given, but the buy, the buy recommendation will be given. So this is only for the planning recommendation. Fine, go there. I'm giving it a make it up. And then afterwards, assign it to the second target. So I will now go to the associations. Everything is done now. Huh? Anything else is missing on this one? Yes, yes, I give one now. Back to back is also done. I will now go to the associations and then let me associate to the second target. Enter it now. So by which we have completed the creation of all the five items, four components, and then one uh, EFG actually. In reality, the planning planning method. Planning method is also yeah is a very good one. Is it must be MPS planning actually. Fine, it will be MPS planning. So let me go on and query it actually, and it will be MPS planning. The planning method is also important. This is not fine. Those are those items. So I have written this MPS planning. So good. So planning method is important. Uh, now go to the browse items and then query this item actually. I will now go to the master first of all. Now the top one of the master. Click on it. And then let me go make it as a MPS. Go to the specifications. Go to the planning. So it's the MPS plan. Normally all the FGs will be MPS plan. Uh, make it the MPS plan. And then I give a save and close. And then I will now have a look at the child also. If it is a master controlled uh, attribute, it will be getting percolated to the child also. Otherwise, we only have to make a change manually. Changes has to be manual. Please mute your mics. 
So click on the specifications and go there. So we are planning. Hello, Nana. Yeah, tell me. Okay, the life cycle phase is it supposed to be Hello? designed. This Can you speak a bit loud? I'm finding it difficult to hear you actually. Yeah. Okay, the, the life cycle phase of this finished product, is it supposed to be designed or finished product? This is the one which the Seagate company is going to manufacture it actually. He is going to get from the Dell, the motherboard as well as the 16 GB RAM. He is going to use his hard disk and then this is a service item. It is only a virtual logical item. It is not a physical item. And then he will now manufacture this. Tell me your query now. My query, go back to the item page. Yeah, tell me. Go back to the item page. Hmm. Query this item. Which item? This is FG item. Yeah, the FG, the finished goods. Yeah. Query it. Is query. Are you able to see this now? Is already query. We have queried it with a search. I have queried it now. What is your question? No, he's, he's asking about the life cycle phase. Life cycle phase is not that much important as far as inventory is concerned. It is having an importance only for uh, what's called your uh, 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 if a life cycle phase is important only for the uh, PIM items. And then when I applied the FG template, the life cycle phase is populated. Whereas the previous one, it was not populated on the purchase data. Right? That's why. Got it? The life cycle phase was not populated. I populated it. But if the FG template got auto, auto populated, and so I didn't touch it at all. So all the five items are now created. So we are not done it. Okay, fine. So we will now have sufficient quantities for the first three items. Nana, Nana, one question, Nana. Are we going to buy the fifth item from Seagate or how it is, Nana? The fifth item will be manufactured by him. And then we are going to pay him the $200 through this item, actually. This is logical. Item. Okay. So the the he will be shipping it to my customers, or otherwise you will not ship it to me, and then I will not ship it to the customer. Okay. So Fine. We are going to make a work order on this now. Fine. Remember, we are not going to make a purchase order here. Your work order will be made on the laptop. Good question. Good question. Anybody else? Any other any question now? Fine. We will be making a work order for the laptop. And then Seagate will now manufacture the work order. And then he will now charge me $200 through this logical item. And then if his components are also chargeable, he will also charge for this also. Any other doubts? Good question. No. No, are so, we... so, Nana, but currently those three components are supplied by the OEM or? Uh... First two are supplied by the OEM. The third is supplied by the uh, contractor. Fourth is the logical item. First two are supplied by OEM actually. Okay, so he he is going to charge for the uh, third component and yes. as well as the service uh, item. I told well. you not. If the third component is going to be thousand dollars, his service is only two hundred dollars. He will say my service just pay only two hundred, but for the component you pay thousand. So he will not make a separate pricing so that whatever his service will not get unnecessarily escalated. Got it? Okay. So if this is going to be one dollar, this two hundred dollars, he will not include it in this itself. It all depends. So how he is going to how we are going to make it? You have to design. Now we'll now have the first three items some stock over here. How about roll up cost and roll up? Uh, I, I need to learn that now. Fine, roll up cost oh. is a very important one. I need to learn up. So once when I learn it, I will now teach you both the uh, costing as well as lead time management. I need to learn it actually. Uh, everything will be coming up. Fine. This is the main advantage of uh, this contract outsourcing is what costing. So we can accurately cost your finished good actually. So that you will be able to design your selling price based upon how much is the roll-up cost actually. So, so yeah, he will pay for the service item that is good, uh, but the component also he has to pay it, right? Yeah, of course. For, for the will component, know, then he will be paying for the service right? item as well as for the components also, for this component also. Yeah, so then when this when, also when, will be having cost. So once when you roll it up to the FG, FG will be showing you the cost of all the four actually. Costing is different, pricing is different actually. I, I understand. The, so he when you uh, know once the finished good item is ready, so he's going to pay for pay to the contractor, not only the service, uh, service that he has done. Yeah. He also needs to pay for the component, right? Okay. Or. Uh, yeah, uh, see, your purchase order will be created only for the service item and not for this component. I don't know how he's going to make a payment for this. Now. this you have to think about it. Now. The document is not writing. This is a good question now. How are you going to pay, make a payment for the uh, what's called the hard disk? 
maybe i think uh, we we do the push or uh, no or pushing is only for casting purposes actually uh, no pushing <laughs> is only for the next two com first two components right third component will be operation pull yeah. because uh, the contract manufacturer has got the enough on hand quantity Okay. And uh, that's how he do the operation pull. So whatever. But Mike Sir, Mike Sir, how are we going to pay? How are we going to pay? The Dell is going to pay Seagate by what means? No? Okay, the assembly will be picking up the cost by pulling. Fine for that because. Um, all, no, 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 sir. You will have to if you want to pay for that item. You will have to make a contract or a blanket. Oh, oh, we had to make another PO, no? Uh, yes. Otherwise, oh, this PO not. itself we had to add it, no? Yes. So what yeah. happens? Instead of saying what, that. Yeah. In this PO itself, the PO, the PO you are going to make for the service item, the Seagate component also has to be added. Yes. Either It'll same or different. Both are separate. Separate yeah, PO. If they are separate, then you have to add it. Okay. Separate. Yes. Good, good, good observation. Good. Fine. Yeah, nice. Okay. Thank you. So that is the way. Because costing is different, pricing is different. Good, yeah. good. So Normally, PO, planning will recommend. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, if you have this entire thing implemented, I mean, properly, mm -hmm. planning will recommend that PO because those are all uh -huh. valid. Uh -huh. The planning will be recording the people. That, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's great, actually. Yeah, somebody is putting a message in the chat. If it is a useful one, please inform me now because I cannot see the chat and I'm inside now. So, uh, the first three items I'm going to have a copy. So, let me go and then have a take copy of the first item. So, it's a basically a learning now. And I also learned only from the document. I'm not an expert on this now. So, if I'm making any mistake, please correct me then and there. So, go to the supply chain execution and go to the inventory management. And then I'm going to have what? A stock on this now. <coughs> you go there, click on it. I will now first of all change the org now and go to the manage item conditions and change the org to 002 now. So we have only one org for which the data access has been given. So it's okay. It's not coming. No change org is coming. Thank click on done. And then we'll now go and then create a create a create miscellaneous. Can, can we do on hand only for the first two? The third component will be a supplier. Uh... See, we are going to stock our product. They are, they are going to be stocked in our inventory. Right? So for which I will tell you about how we, how the actual thing will happen. I will tell you. <clears throat> Go there, click on it. So miscellaneous result. I will not choose an account. No, thank you. <clears throat> go there. So click on search. I will not put account and it will be given by the financials for the miscellaneous transaction. Actually, I'm choosing no account. <clears throat> go there. Yes, no. Now click on plus. This is uh, Bala huh? <clears throat> from Malaysia. Yes, sir. I am back to India now. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> So I will now keep it on the store sub inventory. Fine, go there, on it. So it's the store sub inventory. I will now keep some thousand quantities on this. Fine. It is a no control item. So the first one, the motherboard, I'm keeping thousand quantities on the 002 R. Remember. But actually, it will not be like the now. I'll not tell you but how exactly it happens. <clears throat> Click on plus. So go for the second item now. So for our understanding, what happens? They are now populating it with a miscellaneous result. Second item, so I will keep it on stores now. I click on edit details because second item is a serial control item, so we have to give the serial numbers. So I will now put the quantity transaction quantity. I will now put as 10 now. <clears throat> 10 is the quantity, so I will now say uh, 201 to 210. The start number I'm giving, the end number will be giving automatically. So the 16 GB RAM is now having a serial numbers from 201 to 220. 10 quantities. I am going to keep it. I click on OK now. <clears throat> And then the final element, I click on plus now. Then I will not go there. I will not have the 2 GB hard disk now. 2 TB hard disk. I will keep it on the stores now. So here also, I will give it 10 quantities. So there is 201 to 210. This will be 301 to 310. So go there. So it's 301 to 310. That's it. So these three components, we are stocking it on the uh, Seagate org actually. The Seagate org itself is a virtual. <coughs> the Seagate org is a virtual org actually. This is the Dell org. This is the Seagate org. This is the virtual org. So this virtual org, we are performing, we are simulating whatever he is doing <clears throat> so that we can be able to track the cost. Cost tracking, the time tracking, and then the product costing, the job costing, everything we can do actually. Yes. So by having this as a virtual org, actually. go there. 
So click on submit by which what happens? We have got the no control item has got thousand and then another thing has around ten ten each. We click on submit. So we are now having three components. The stock on the second half. Now actually, how the stock will know? So what you will do is we are having the motherboard as well as the sixteen GB RAM. <clears throat> so we will now create a transfer order and then move it. The advantage of a transfer order is what we can allocate the material. <clears throat> we can create a movement request and then do a pick confirm. So by which we we can ship whatever we exactly want to go over here actually. So that is the way it is normally done with the transfer order. But since it is a training, I made a miscellaneous result. <clears throat> and then transfer orders also can be costed, and then your miscellaneous transaction also can be costed. So we have a costed item available on this virtual org actually. These three items are having a cost costing. So in reality, it will be done only with the man with the transfer order only. Sometimes we will now use a OSP operation to move these two components also to the supplier's virtual org. So that also is possible. Otherwise, normally through a transfer order will be moving. And these things are only for manufacturing. So now that we have now we have to collect the item first of all. So we go and then collect it. So we will now click on it. Now go there and then collect the item. So go to the plan for supply chain planning, and then go to the plan inputs, and then you are going to perform a collection. So the item and the quantities have to be collected. So if you don't collect it, you won't be able to do what happens the planning activity actually. Uh, sir, zero zero two is the contract manufacturing org. Yeah, zero zero two is the contract manufacturing org. So OPS will okay. change and go to two hundred. Uh, item, I am now bringing it over here. So item, I am now bringing it, and then. Afterwards, you go to the supply plan, and then here I'm going to bring on and also organization is already collected, so zero zero two is already collected. No need to collect. So item and on and I'm now collecting it on a net change actually. Item on the reference data side, and then on and on this side, I'm going to click on it. I don't click on something. So it is now giving you a warning. Fine, doesn't matter. Click on OK. We will be creating a structure for this, Nana sir. Of course, we have to go into create a structure. So if you go there and then query for your B zero one, no, find your tab. You will not find anything till the concurrent gets completed. Till the concurrent gets completed, you won't be able to get it. So only when it is completed, it will be coming. So this activity of ninth activity is now completed. Now we are going to get a bill. Now. So we will now create a bill. So let us now go and then query this now. Find the pull the query. Query the finished good. Sir, uh, the assumption is the first two components are not supplied by OEM, right? OEM is supplying it. Dell no, motherboard and Dell 16 GB RAM is supplied by Dell actually. Yeah, but uh, we are not doing any transfer order right now, right? No, you are not then, doing a transfer order. In this in this example, we are not doing it. In reality, it will be a transfer order <clears throat> or OSP. Transfer orders and OSP has got two big advantages. That is what it will be creating a moment. No, if we if we say, I mean, answer. if we are using the item items from zero zero two, then uh, the entire cost. Yeah, I have made a miscellaneous result, and then I can even do the costing also. So a company can do either a transfer order or a OSP or a miscellaneous receipt, whichever way they want to populate the uh, virtual org, they can very well do it. Virtual org can be populated in all the three means, and then in all the three means, the costing is done now. Whereas the only disadvantage on the miscellaneous receipt is what we cannot allocate the material, whatever is going to go from this Dell to Seagate actually. That is the only disadvantage, and then if that is okay for him, he can very well perform a miscellaneous receipt with the costing. And if they say costing is no, and then we have to give a exact uh, what was the amount of costing. So costing will be taken care of on a miscellaneous result also. But it is normally usually preferred for a uh, what's called it. the best way is the transfer order. The alternate way is OSP. The least way is miscellaneous transaction. Any doubts? Then go there, click on it. So here, uh, uh, what I was doing. So I am going to get the bill now. So we will look at the bill for the FG now. Right? The FG will be having all the four components actually. If I take off it and then go there. So click on cancel and then come out of it and then go there. <coughs> and then here I go there. Go to the product management and then go to the product information management. <coughs> and then here I go there. And then I go to the browse items and then query my FG. Anybody else has got any doubts? Please tell me. Okay. Yeah, at item level, first component you mentioned operation pull, and the second one is push, right? Yeah. So push means when you are sub when OEM is supplying, then it is a push, right? No, 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 no. When OEM supplies, OEM will be supplying with three many ways: either by a transfer order, or by a OSP, or a miscellaneous. When manufacturing is taking place, 
it will be doing a push actually correct uh, 16 gb ram why it is uh, mentioned as push it is we are at to come to that point at all this supply type we are at to come will be coming once when you manufacture okay. the product i think that supply type is dependent when you are actually manufacturing exactly you when you are actually manufacturing the supply type is will be, will be coming into picture actually yeah. now we are doing you are transferring it from dell to seagate this will not have any significance at all <clears throat> it's a serial item it is better to be push right yes oh, who is this saruna here ah, saruna saruna is saying serial items is better to be push because yes. push has got what allocation actually whereas in operation pull we won't be allocating it actually we will be saying that this one this one i have taken it up for manufacturing and then it will be doing it. push will have an allocation so that is a very powerful one and then uh, what saruna is saying is that serial control lot control revision control am i correct saruna saruna is saying that all the controls if you have if you have any other controls it's preferable to have a push okay now right. what i meant was why supply type is push is like you know when you when oem is supplying items that OEM time OEM has supplied 10 quantities of 16 GB RAM, whereas the Dell I am going to manufacture only two laptops now, for which I am going to pull the item with a push type. The two components of the 10 16 GB RAM will be pulled from the stores into a manufacturing area via push. Now, no sir, stores is having sufficient quantity of 10 now. Right, sir. No, no. See, if if we have an example like you know, o OEM is sending the item to contract manufacturer once in a while okay. once in a month so once once in a week when you book there. when you book a sales order yeah and uh, when his uh, bill of materials uh, you know having this particular item yeah. supply as push yeah. that means when you when you you need to re, uh, release the material right you need to issue the material yes uh, so issue that's the material let us say i have a stock of 516 gb ram Out of 500, I'm going to issue two to the manufacturing agent through a push. Correct. That's what. That, that's how the push. So, but in this case, you are doing all the supply types are operational pull only, right? Why mm -hmm. this particular item? Yeah, let's come to this now. We know we will have a see the effect of it while manufacturing it. When you're manufacturing it, I will not show you the effect of it. No, in your example, you are doing everything miscellaneous receipt, right? That's yeah. why I I somewhat. Uh, Because transfer order will not take another one hour for me, so no, I don't I want to go to that. No, 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 no. I <laughs> understand. My miscellaneous receipt has been populated by inventory. My store is populated sir. with the miscellaneous receipt now. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. So when you are doing a miscellaneous receipt, why can't this items supply type can be an operational pull? There is no relation, right? Ah, there is no, no relation, relation between these two. The work order issue is populating different. your stores, and then the supply type has got no relationship at all. Populating your store is by three many ways, either by a transfer order or by a OSP operation or by a miscellaneous order. Fine. So transferring material has got no relation to the supply chain. <coughs> okay, fine. So let us go there and then take a copy of it and then you know make the bill for this now. Fine. The bill will be having all the four components over here now. Right. So I have not queried the bill. Fine. Right. I will not go to the master. Order. So click on the master order. Item is already assigned to the child now, actually. I'm going to the master, <coughs> and then let me create a bill. So go to the structures, and then I'm going to make a bill. Click on the structures, and then I'm going to make a bill. So structures, I go there, go to the actions, and then go to what create. I'm going to create it. So click on create. I'm going to create. Are we creating structures in master directly, uh, Nana, or only in the required organizations? Are we? Oh going? no, master will be normally, usually, the structures will be residing there. Master is a repository of item definitions as well as a repository of structures also. And then we will not comment it to the child lecture. No, that's not it. Do we have any validation organization similar to we have in? Uh, yeah, no, we don't have such a concept. Who is this now? Saruna here. Eh? Saruna here. Saruna, Saruna is asking a very good question. Do we have any IVO sort of a thing as far as a structure is concerned? No, we don't have that concept. Uh, Nana, if okay. you are using engineering, right? Ah. So in that case, there will be an engineering or. Where the yeah, yeah, yeah. engineering has come now. Fine, in twenty one year, I think engineering has come. I have yes, engineering, engineering has come. Engineering has come. Uh, <laughs> so, if you have engineering, you will do have one additional attribute of engineering. Or yeah. Yeah, yeah. and But then IVO you will transfer. Not, to... IVO concept is not there as far as structure no. is concerned. No, 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 IVO concept is not there. But uh, in order to counter that, you can actually keep it in a validation mode. And then you'll have to common it across all of this. Okay, uh, you can do that. I mean, it doesn't add any value, 
But if you want to do that, you can do that. Now, let me add the component for enough and good actions and then go to self map. So I'm going to add the components now. <clears throat> so I will now query on the B01 now. Then click on search. <clears throat> B01. So all the four components I'm going to add it now. With the control, I'm selecting multiple components like this. And then I'm now adding all the four. Then click on apply and then click on OK. I'm also not an expert on this. I just learned it some few days back and then I'm <laughs> demonstrating it. So if you find any value additions, uh, please add it. I may be even wrong also sometimes. So click on OK. So by which all the four components are now added now. <clears throat> OK, what happened? OK, it's not gone. So here uh, in my configurator session, what happens if you go there, go to the view, and then you will know. How, what component order management if you enable it now. So it has got a lot of things to do on this now. So on the component order management, so you have an option and mutual exclusive. Fine here. Since option is off, all the four are mandatory components on this now. So all the things are required for the billet. So all the four, there are four different combinations which is normally explained in the configurator training. And then click on done by which the bill is now made. So the bill has got four components now. Fine. So the motherboard, the 16 GB RAM, as well as the service item, as well as your other item. So all the four components are available. The motherboard, 16 GB RAM, the Seagate hard disk, and then the service item are available. Thank you. The bill is now completed. Now we are going to common it to the child. So go there. The primary bill is now made. You want to drop it down and then save and close. It is now done. We now open up the child org now. Item is already assigned the bill, but bill will not be assigned at all. Remember, bill has to be common. The, in the zero to door, it is already done. Click on it. We will know how to so call the bill for the child. So, here you go to the structures again. You will not find any structure at all. The master, we have a structure here. Nothing is there. Go to actions and then what? Create from common. That is the normal <coughs> way of doing it now. We can even also create from a copy depending upon the requirement, but it is usually common data. When you common it, when you make a change on the master, <coughs> the changes will be automatically reflecting on the child and then you cannot make a change in the child. Actually. <coughs> that is the beauty of uh, commoning. Apart from the supply type, sir, and two other. Apart from supply, that is a different one. That is only for uh, consumption of material, actually. So go there. I will now put B01 and then give a tab now. So that is the only item which is available there in this now. And laptop and click on OK. Now, an item import will now take place for commoning it, actually. An item import will now come. <clears throat> so the concurrent 508 is now running. Fine. Item import is now happening. So once the item import gets completed, you can now find the bill comment on the child actually. So click on save and close by which we are now completed this activity now. <coughs> so not done. Now, <coughs> bill creation is complete. Now we will now go into the GOP setup. Now, since the item is now collected, we can even give a price for the item also. <coughs> we have given all items price, but once when it is collected, we can even give item specific price also. I will not try to go on and give it now. So I will not go to the home page. I will not give the item specific price now. So go to the order management and then go to the pricing administration. And then I will not give the item specific price for this now. I click on it and then go there. Then go to the manage price list. And then go there. Query for the corporate. Corporate, I am querying it now. Item would have been collected by this time now. Corporate segment pricing is the one which Vision is using it actually. So in item level, you go there. I will not give a plus, and then I will not try to give the price of this. So my item is what uh, uh, this uh, was called uh, the FG item. Now. I go there, click on it. I take over it and see whether the item has come or not after collection. So this will now come only after collection actually. Click on it. When the chi, we got it. That means what it is collected. Without collecting, it will not come. Fine. Click on create charge, and then I'm going to give what there is one hundred. Then I will not give one ten now. So 110 only will come because item will have a higher priority than the all item price. All item is a least priority. And go back to all. And then go there, click on OK now. So 110 will be populating on the sales order now. And click on seven close. So this item can be given only upon collection. Remember, there is no need for refresh and start for giving a price now. Price list can be given upon collection itself, and then no need for refresh and start on this. Now we'll now go on and do the DOT stuff. And go back to all. So there are three setups which you have to make now. One is an ATP rule now. Fine, there's a navigation now. Fine, ATP rule, I'm going to make it. So click on that. <clears throat> I'm going a bit fast. And then if any doubts is there, please, then and there is stop and ask me. I will not clarify it also. 
so go there i will not make a mistake right? i'll not go there so i will not go to order management and then go to the gop area and go for order promising and then go there order management and then gop and then here you click on it and then i'll not go to the manage edp also so let me create an infinite edp if i click on plus one i will not create an infinite edp so b01 underscore edp item is always available on the panel so we have supply chain edp lead time edp and then infinite best i don't want it and then make it an infinite and go to the edp rules and then i am going to make an item or assignment for this one and go to the actions and go to add a row and then i will be doing it as an item or so this will be 002 and then item is what b01 so then you tap the finish good and what to do that will be coming on the same order now to one drop it down and then you can search <coughs> b01 then you can search now so the finish good where is it so the first activity on the gop is now complete thank you for seven close now now we will now go on and create two sourcing routes now thank you for now so the next activity is what we are now going to create two sourcing routes one is the local make and then one is the global transfer so the 13th step we are going to do it now and we will now make two sourcing routes on this navigation actually. so go there click on it click on the task carousel and then you go to the manage sourcing routes and then i will now make two sourcing routes for us so is a b01 underscore i will now say local by so here the planning act one is coming no i don't know no sorry i had to give a plus note Plus. So click on plus and then create enough. So it's a b zero one underscore local underscore by. So put it on this place on the description now. And then there's a local one. The org is zero zero two. And then I click on plus now. And the race will be coming. I go down. And then good actions. And then good add a row. And then I'm going to make a by. So out of three options available, and I'm not choosing the by now. Organization is not coming from the supplier. I will not put one of the suppliers actually. I will not say uh, ABC Consulting. That is the uh, will not say that is the virtual org on which I am doing the ABC Consulting. That is the virtual org, the C gate org actually. So ABC Consulting. And then I will not choose what ABC US one allocation uh, supplier site source system is OTS. It is hundred percent. That's it. So we are going to buy from this place now. That's it. And then any doubts on this topic? Yeah. So the first sourcing rule is now created for local buy actually. <clears throat> Drop it down and then save and close. Save and create another now. Click on save and create another. So we are going to create it. And then we are now going to have a global transfer from zero zero two. I am going to ship it to the customer actually. So yeah, it's a B zero one. I will say it's a global. Oh, it will come in the description. The global one. And click on plus one. Actions. I'm going to add a row. The type is what transfer. <clears throat> and then here nothing is coming. Organization is zero zero two. Zero zero two. I'm going to transfer it. Okay. Allocation percentage. I'm not putting it now. Anybody uh, who want to talk to me, you open up your mic and then speak because I will not be able to see your chats actually. So this much is sufficient. Now fine. Allocation percentage and then rank is sufficient. Shipping method is not required as this now fine. So it's a global transfer. So click on save and close, baby. We are now completed creation of the two sourcing rules for this exercise now. Come out of it now. We now go for the final setup on this now on the GOP. That is what's called assignment setting. Sir, the organization should it be a contract manufacturing org? Uh, no, not required. This organization is going to ship it to the customers actually. <clears throat> the organization need not necessarily be a <clears throat> manufacturing org actually. <clears throat> okay. It can be, but it is not required. No, it should be contract manufacturing or right? <coughs> no, for the sales order actually. When you are shipping it, uh, maybe yeah, because you see, you are manufacturing it. I uh, see oh, yeah. that is a uh, because area it, it, actually, is, area. it is going to create work order in a contract manufacturing to track what contract manufacturer is doing. This is the one. Whereas yes. the, this is in Bombay, let us say. OEM is in Bombay. This is zero zero one, right? OEM is a zero zero one. So he is only making the sales order. Yes, correct. <coughs> Upon completion, <coughs> we are going to ship it from zero zero two to customer actually. Correct, correct. Zero zero two is basically a contract manufacturing. 
when you are releasing <coughs> the sales order uh, work order will be created in yes. 002 yeah exactly exactly yeah. correct 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 is a big process actually find uh, uh, understanding it is really very very difficult actually uh, uh, many pages Sir, are written there are we doing it through planning now or uh, oh, manual sales or only uh, order management only okay so go to the manager assignment sir so fine let me only let the cream assignment b01 underscore and let to learn planning not getting the mood at all <laughs> So go there. Just one question. And in the sourcing role, ABC supplier you have assigned it, right? Hmm? Yeah, ABC Consulting. Yeah. What is the significant? Um, uh, that is nothing but this one. ABC Consulting. Item. I have it. This is a virtual org. Okay. ABC Consulting is nothing but this contract manufacturer. Is, contract manufacturer. Actually. Fine. Bro. The inventory org will be different, and then the supplier name will be different actually. And this is a supplier on which order and go to place the purchase order. The ABC Consulting is the one on which what happened the purchase order will go, and then the work order will be made on zero zero two. Okay, both are virtual only, right? Both are virtual. Because... No, this is the physical one. Uh, the supplier is physical, whereas the org is virtual. Okay. okay. We go there, give a description, and then give a save and close. Okay. So we are now creating a, what's called assignment set now. Now, having done this, what happens? We go there and then set up our uh, MRP default sourcing assignments and things like that. Right. Now go to this place, go to the setup and maintenance, and then we have to set up a profile which points to my assignments set actually. So go to setup and maintenance. <coughs> go there, click on it. So click on search now. So it's a manage admin profile. So go to the manage admin profile. Here it is the MSP default is the profile actually. So it must be percentage, default percentage. Go there, query it. So this has to point to mine now. So drop it down and then choose mine. The site level I'm putting it. So it's the MSP default assignment set is the profile name. So this is no point in it. So GOP will be using this assignment set only and not the global order form is it. So click on second close, no change now. We go there. And then we'll now go back and then we will now populate the assignment set with our two entries. Go there. I will go to the order management and then go to the global order policy. And then I will now query my assignment set and then populate these two lines of this. Thank you. So I will go to the <coughs> what's called manage assignment sets. Query may be 01. So B01 is not queried. So select it and then click on edit now. So click on plus now. <coughs> so assignment set is what? Item organization. So at the item organization level, I'm going to manufacture it now at the highest level. Organization zero zero two. Item is B zero one. Remember till now we are not done the any <coughs> refresh and start at all. So go there. Where is my this one? Click on it, and then I'm going to use the sourcing rule, and then I click on B zero one, and then you tap. I'm not going to make a local make. Oh God, I've written as a local buy. Local buy. Sorry, I made a mistake here. It's not a local buy actually. I have to make a local make actually. So buy will never come into picture at all because this purchase order, I'm going to make it manually and not through GOP actually. I made a mistake actually. So I have to make what? Yeah, local make actually. <clears throat> Manage sourcing goods. I will not ignore that buy actually. Thank you for plus one. So it's a B01 underscore local make. So I'm making a local make now and take over it. Then uh, click on the description of the local make actually. Organization 002. Plus, and then go down, and then go to actions, then go to add. Room. <coughs> so here it's a make, make it. Organization 002. Allocation person which is make it 002. So click on save and close. So this I'm going to use it in my assignment set actually. I made a mistake there. There is no buy at all. Buy has never come at all here. I made a mistake. Don't go there. They go to the manager assignment sets now. So let me query the B01 now. Okay. <clears throat> Select it and then click on edit now. The actions and then go back. Buy appears for uh, servicing item, right? No. Uh, buy will be a separate purchase order. It will not be via sales order actually. 
Why yeah, are sales uh, order? It will be increasing uh, it to what happens only manufacturing. In the sourcing role, I am saying uh, it will be buy, right? No, it will be make only. I am going to make the FG in this place. No, FG is fine. What, what I am trying to say is service item. You need to service item. I have to place a separate purchase, purchase order. order. Yeah, yeah. That's Bell will be making a separate purchase order on the supplier actually. Now in this case, it is ABC consulting. Correct. In the sourcing rules, uh, you know, where, where, where sourcing rule will never come at all. It is not a back to back buy. Remember, <coughs> only for a back to back buy we have to put that. <coughs> it is not a back to back buy. <coughs> Go there. Assignment set. First of all, what about the item organization? Zero zero two. Item is B zero one. And then I will not put the FG over here now. Laptop over here now. And then the sourcing rule. It is a make it. B zero one. I will not choose the make it. Buy is as a, a wrong one. Buy is a wrong one. I go there. I will make a note to make it. And then add the next row. Thank God. Is a global transfer. Actually. So make it as a global one. Global is the least priority. Is the top most priority. Find what you want. So from the top to least, it will not sleep on executing it. Actually, sourcing rule. And go there. So B zero one. And then it's a global transfer. <clears throat> so it will now execute one by one from the top to bottom. And that's it. So my assignment set has got two entries over here now. Any doubts? So go there, click on save and close now. So assignment sets entries are now made. I'll now go there and then click on edit again. And then here, in, you click on the sourcing hierarchy, how it's going to work upon. Fine. For every level, it will not take only one entry now and not multiple entries. So click on the view sourcing now. Not view sourcing, sorry. Cancel. View sourcing hierarchy actually. View sourcing hierarchy if you go and then view. So it's not allowing me. Otherwise, what happens? You can even query it actually. So we query it, it will show you systematically one by one actually. I don't know why it's not coming here. So it will never come. And then you can enter these four entries and then give a search. It will not show you the complete sourcing, how it's going to do one by one. In this case, item org is the highest one. It will execute the make. And then afterwards, the global is a transfer. After the manufacturing is completed, it will execute this. Save and close. That's it. The GOB setups are now complete. Now we collected the item. Consider, and, uh, right. No, but consider only the uh, default sourcing assignment set, right? Uh, yeah. Whatever is there in the MSP default sourcing assignment set, it points to an assignment set, and then whatever is there in the assignment set only will be considered with the GOB. <clears throat> in reality, we'll be having only one assignment set. So for, just for understanding purposes, we are now creating our own and then doing it now. In reality is that. So 15 step is now completed. Fine, go that it. We will now do the second collection now. This time, what I'm going to collect is what? I will not collect what uh, I know done. The 16th is also done now. I will not perform what happens. Your order orchestration reference object only I'm going to collect it. That is nothing but GOP. So after this, I have only made this not fine. Let me collect only GOP activity. Thank you. Cancel now. I don't want to collect the GOP. So go to the home page and then go to the plan inputs and then collect the GOP. So first time I collected the item on and now I'm collecting GOP. You go there, go to the what's called supply chain planning. Uh, many of you will be knowing all these things, but uh, what happens? I'm just repeating it for somebody who may not be knowing it actually. So go to the supply chain planning and then go to the planning post now. So go there, click on it, and now do the collection. This time I'm collecting only what the thing. And then uh, I was told you one other guy that what happens when you do an orchestration collection, you go for an exchange. A targeted, targeted the preferable. There we even net change when they say that targeted will be better for a, this thing. I don't know why it's so. Uh, but he told me it's preferable, sir. You do it now. Order orchestration reference object is for the GOP4 setups. What are the ATP, manage ATP rules, and then your sourcing rules, and then assignment sets along with a profile. Down. This, will be, this will be collected now. And then go for a target now. So click on submit. So that will be available on your planning. Uh, uh, I, but then, uh, not, create, not collected, right? Huh? Item structure which we created. Item structure is not in collected. Correct, 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 correct. Who is this? Sarana. Uh -huh. huh? <laughs> Sarana is a very good man here. Hey, uh, are you my student or otherwise? Uh, no. I'm 2018 was your student. Oh, 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 2018 you are my student. Okay. Uh, I will know that you ping me and then I will add you to my what's called my telegram group because uh, my past students are there basically. And then I am now keeping only my recent past actually. Anyhow, I will now add you because you are uh, having an excellent perception on so many things now. And Sarana, please ping me on the WhatsApp. I will now add you to my telegram group. The participants will be getting uh, benefited by your uh, uh, feedbacks also. Yeah. Sure. You're from which place? Coimbatore. No, no. Coimbatore. Okay. 
That's it. Now I will not collect what order orchestration reference object and target is not complete. It's not running actually. Now the second collection is running. Now we are going to go for the manufacturing setups. Let us not go on that way. So let us not go on and create the manufacturing setups. Now find everything. So take a copy of it and then let us now create the work area on this one. Go to the home icon and go to the supply chain execution and then go to the work definition. Now. And click on the work definition and then I'm going to make the manufacturing setups. Organization 002, remember? When you make it, you see to it that the organization is coming on the top now. Otherwise, change the organization. I click on it now. <coughs> Manage work areas. <coughs> so I'm going to get a work area now. Fine, I click on it. So click on plus one. I'm going slightly fast, uh, but so many things are there now. Fine. So anyway, I'm going fast. So if any doubts or if I'm making any mistake, also please then and there you point it out. Fine, that's fine. So that's it. Seven close. The work area, laptop assembly work area is now created. Fine, click on done and come out of it now. Now we'll now create a work center now. So we'll now go on and create a work center. Take over it. Click on it and then it'll make a work center. Click on manual work centers. And then we are going to create. It. Click on plus one. <clears throat> we are creating a work center now. Is that we are going to make many manufacturing now? So name is this now. This is the one code and then the description now. The work area is what? B01. And then you tap to become And then the supply sub inventory is stores. Now. <clears throat> make the source of supply sub inventory. That's it. And give a save and close. That's it. The work center is ready now. We go and then create a resource now. Fine, that. So we will now create B1 assembly. The one fine with that. And then click on done and then come out of it and then go there. Click on it. We will now create a resource now. Fine. Click on the manage resource. Let me create the resource. <coughs> so click on plus now. We are now creating a resource now. Paste it over the extra spaces there. Extra space. Type is what? We go there and then make it a label. If you have any value additions, please immediately tell us. We'll all learn also from you. <clears throat> because I also don't know much about it. I'm learning now only. So costing, I'm able to learn. I'm not enabling it. And then lead time management also, I'm able to learn. Now. Yeah. So click on save and close. I don't know why the class is not coming. Whereas in the VIP, we'll be having a VIP accounting class coming up automatically. The class, this stuff is not coming. I don't know why. So go there. So this is the first assembler. And go there. Click on it. Save and create another now. Find one more thing I'm not going to create. One more resource I'm going to create now. I will take copy what B1 tester. Take a copy and then go there. Now I'll put the tester over here now. Tester. Tester. Type in what label. And then unit submitted is each. Now click on seven things. Which what happens? I know completed both the things. And then I will now house these two things in the work center actually. Let me query the work center now. And the money work centers. Let me query the work center now. And B01. Entry now. And then open it up. And then do it now. Go there, go inside, and then add the resources in this now. So, resource availability, if I click on plus now, it's a B01 <coughs> assembler. He's assembling the laptop actually. <coughs> I'll now say 10 is on, and the 24 hours available. And then I check it onto the and click on add another. And then go there. It's a B01 tester actually. So, put the test over here now. I click on it. Ten. That's it. So we are housed these two resources in this work center actually. Find save and close now. Then afterwards, what happens? We go there and look at the standard operation. So B01 laptop assembly <clears throat> is a standard operation which I'm going to create now. So go there, click on that now. Is that it is not to create a standard operation or can be not necessary? We can even put straight away. Just like in EWS, standard operation is not a mandatory one. We can even populate the resource directly on your routing actually. <coughs> Man standard operations click on plus now. This is not a mandatory one, but I'm just for understanding purposes, I'm checking it out. Paste it over here now. Description and then work center is B01. And I'm going to have no, it's coming up. So it's okay. Now here we have three things. One is called comb point, auto charge, and backflush in uh, eBus now. Whereas here it has been reduced to two. And then here they are mutually exclusive. We enable comb point automatically, charge transact is not coming. And if you enable it, that isn't going away. I don't know what exactly it is. I had to read it now. And once I read it during manufacturing training, I'll tell you what, what exactly it is now. It's okay. <clears throat> I will add one resource for the standard operation now. B01 and then get assembler. I'm going to add. Okay now. Now add it. So here the charge tape is automatic. So on an operation pull, this gets charged automatically into the what's called in your manufacturing area now. I don't know what exactly is principle. It is not known to me. So go there. I will now save and create another now. Find one more standard operation I'm going to create now. 
Nana, the count point is actually uh, related to routing. Yeah, the routing and is exactly same like what we have. is a is a mandatory step actually. The system from ten to forty. If uh, thirty is a count point, it will not land up on thirty actually. It will not go to. 30. Yes, you have to pass through the count point. Yes, exactly. Uh, that is the same concept like uh, uh, what we have. But what is automatically transacted? Why they are mutually exclusive? I don't know. The count point and automatically transact are mutually exclusive. Automatically uh, transact, you know, we used to have. Uh, maybe without uh, count point. Okay, I had to learn it now. Uh, learn it and so not it learn yeah, so um, automatically transact is i think uh, related to backflush okay no 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 the resource transactions will happen automatically uh, oh resource transactions right resource yeah, backflush will happen yeah resource backflush will happen automatically but um, don't let me, I, I don't want to comment on this now these two tick marks and then why they are uh, mutual exclusive i don't know so i have now created both the <coughs> what's called uh, standard operations now <laughs> it is now done. <clears throat> now I am not going to get my routing. Let me get my routing. I am done. Now come out of it, and then I am going to make a routing. Go there, and then I will now go to the top. Go to the manage work definitions. Now. The setups are made now, and then I go to the top, and then I create the work definition. Go plus now. So here item is what you were just saying now. And please uh, mute your mics now. The FGO here now. Somebody please mute it now. Let me mute it. I'm muting all. So when you want to speak, you can open up your mic and speak. So I put the FGO here. The primary is coming. The name is what? The main. I will not make the other main. And then I will not go to the next. The next. So we have got only two operations now. We got only two operations. On <clears throat> so click on plus now. So I will now put the code itself on the standard operation code. I'm putting it. Fine with that. So if you put the assembly, fine with that. It will now say it's a referenced one. That means what? It is a standard operation. If the reference is not there, it is a simple one. Fine, click on plus now. Bring it. And then it's a B01. And then the testing. What do you mean by serialization on an operation here? I don't understand. This. Serialization. In that, that in that particular operation, the serialization of the component will start. I mean, uh, uh, the finished goods will start. Oh, 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 the finished goods, the serialization will now start from that point. Huh? But it yes. is not editable actually. No, I don't know. What I mean. Okay, something is there. So go there, click on it. So click on save and edit. By which what happens? We go inside and then we are going to associate for the components to the assemblies now. Components to the resources actually. So we have got four components now. So we have got four components. One is an assembly operation, one is a testing operation. So for the testing operation or the last operation, you'll be attaching the service item. <coughs> so click on it. So you're not getting it now. So the Dell motherboard, I will now put on the first one of mine. Drag it to the first one, first operation. Similarly, the 16 GB RAM, a tick mark will be coming once it is associated. I will now drag the second one and then go to the first operation again. You know the name, man. A tick mark is coming. The third one, the Seagate TB. Fine, go there. Click on drag it and then drop it in the first one. So the first operation has got all the three components, and then the final component of the laptop service data will be associated with the twentieth operation. That is the testing operation. We'll drag it and click it and then drag it over here and then drop it. And that's it. My routing is complete. <coughs> you can find a tick mark on all the four components now. <coughs> that means what? They are allocated to some operation visible. The tick mark is not visible here now. That is visible. So every component has to be allocated to some operation basic. Get it out from this one. And that's it. My structure, bill and routing is ready. Fine, save and close. Now, this has to be collected actually. So, so uh, it's a manufacturing collection. And collect the bill and routing. So once with the 23rd step is now completed, we'll not collect the bill and routing. So I'll now go to the plan inputs. And then collect the bill and routing. In reality, you will be doing it in a different manner. And collections will be happening in a, you will all be setting up everything and then finally you won't collect it like that. But for training purposes, we are doing it. We can go for an exchange also. I will now put the items over here and then I will now put the structures. So once when you put the structures, the work definition will be coming automatically. 
items and then structures, item structures. So item is there. If you put the structure, the work definition will be coming automatically on this right. That will be coming automatically on here. So that's it. So this completes what? The collection of your, uh, what happens here? Your uh, routing actually. So click on submit now. Then we'll get not necessarily that we had to collect it like this, no fine. You may even collect it in one go also. Having done this, what happens? You go there. We have to print the work definition report, no fine. And then uh, we can analyze it on this now. Uh, I'll now go there, click on it. So the collection is not taking place. Uh, so here, I will now go to what work definition. Go to the submission execution and then go to the work definition now. Let me query it and then print it. Click on it. And then I give them uh, what's called manage work definitions and then query over work definition. And there's a B01 and then you tap and then click on search now. So I'll wait. Uh, laptop and click on it. You're searching for And then put actions and then go to what? Print work definition report now. Right. If you want to have a look at it, you can click on the main and then you can have a look at the routing and then the uh, component, uh, what happens, the association actually that you can see in this place. The routing and component associations can be seen. If you click on it, it will show you all the things now. If you click on it, it will show you all the things now. <coughs> Everything you can see. So we can and click on the main and then have a look at it now. Or otherwise, we can go for a print. So go to the actions and then here, what happens? You go to the print work definition report now. <coughs> we are going to print it now. What it will be giving you a output now, fine. As a save as output will be coming now. So once you give it, it will be saving as an output actually. So print work definition report, fine, go there, click on it. Click on save now. And then show all. And then open it up under the So it has got two operations and then four components actually. And go down, go down, go down. So it shows you everything over here. So material sequence is 10, 20, and then 30, fine. Item, item description. All these things are coming. Supply type is coming. Sub inventory, <coughs> add component, and then operation ten. Find the orders. So operation ten is basically the operation code is laptop assembly. It's a in-house operation, and then the work center is this now. Find it is a, is a referenced one, uh, and then uh, we are using this uh, what's called a standard operation. The standard operation is not used actually, and then ten twenty and thirty. <coughs> so ten twenty and thirty are the components actually, and then the next operation, which is what's called uh, next is what. Uh, for the other one, it is a sequence is 10 for which we will be having this. So we can even print it and then we can even analyze everything on this and all the information are available on So having done this, we will go there. Now we are going to refresh and start. This time only. So you have to collect the items, you have to collect the on end, we have to collect the uh, orchestration reference objects, we have to collect the uh, what's called the structures and the uh, uh, work definitions. And then finally, after having collected everything, we have to go for it. So now here, before you go for it, what happens? You go there and then see the previous concurrent, whether it has got completed or not, we are going to have a look at it now. <clears throat> and now see, because we are not just launched a collection, actually, we had to wait for the uh, collection to complete, actually. So go there, go to the tools, and then go to the schedule to process. And have a look at it. Final collection. After final collection only, we have to perform the refresh. Clear on this not till now. So and then only load is still running out and we had to wait for it. Once all the load is completed, then it will be doing the what's called the deletion of uh, the thing. Right? The delete stage data will be the final concurrent. So only after that we had to run the refresh and start. So let it run now. And in the meantime, what you can do is I'll now go there, right click on the I'll now duplicate it. Now see the other ones. So the receiving parameter has to be set properly. If I go click on it, now do the set of the receiving parameter. So now set of the receiving parameter. So the set of maintenance. <coughs> click on it. And then go to the search. It's a manage receiving. So go to the manage receiving parameters and then do it. So here it must be 
what's called uh, the result routing we are going to make up i think open the, so whichever way you want you are going to make what uh, 002 is the organization so we normally make it as a direct one then sometimes what happens you can even make it as a standard also remember the virtual org the org is a virtual org 002 is a virtual org so on a virtual org we make it as that somebody's mic is on now make it as that so click on save and close and similarly uh, you have to go and then set up the manage uh, what's called you are shipping parameters on this so the shipping parameters has to be set for the virtual org actually for 002 <clears throat> so manage shipping parameters so from there the what's called the sales order is on the virtual org so you just see it in the top whether your org is coming up properly or not and then we have to set up the shipping parameters then only it will be 002 is coming so we have the wait and volume the order ship is there and then we have the release sequence rule as well as the pixel grouping rules available here often great ship and all these things are there so the stage is available so this has to be properly set cancel the list set now because the 002 or i'm not doing anything at all so because i have taken the existing org in reality i had to make it and then these accounts must be proper otherwise it will not be working at all it will not go on all the right now so on the manage mapping sets the accounts has to be set properly and the correct so i will not choose the financials over here now and then i will not go to the, the financials or i will go that manage mapping set the four accounts which has to be set very properly and the correct so i will not go to the cost management on this one where is the manage mapping set of cost management cash management is there oh sorry it should not be financial is actually so for the manage mapping set it must be manufacturing and supply chain management manufacturing and supply chain management is wrong so there you go in there for the manufacturing and supply chain management query for it now so go to the cost cost report so choose your business business group scope now find the us one business unit find the consultant now the consultant nat and then apply and go to task So it's a US one entry now. What up? Oh, sorry. It is a cost management. Cost management. The cost management is the one. So I'll take that account. Save and close now. So first, the charge account has to be set properly. Can you know that? Charge account for the zero zero dollar. It is a material charge account. Sorry for the material charge account. It has to be set properly. So it is a material account organization. So go there. You can even do it in multiple ways, which I have explained in my procurement training. Buy my records and then learn it. So for the US chart of accounts, we go there and then have a look at it now. So the zero zero two org is not that it may be there. I'm not sure about it, but we'll now make one of them as a default. Take cover of it and then we'll now give a plus now. If it's the default, it will be defaulted for all the uh, thing now. And if you want it, I will now make it as a default. It expands the double icon now and then set as a default. So that will be coming on the top now. So if an org entry is not there, then the default will be picked up automatically. So go there. Click on Save and Close now. So the middle account, charge account is not done. Then the uh, uh, accrual account now. Accrual account has to be set for zero zero two. Accrual account organization go there. And then we are setting it up for your chart of accounts and go down. And then again, it may not be there. Fine, go there. We'll not take a copy of the accrual. Accrual is a liability account, remember? So we have to put a liability account over here. Fine, take a plus one. Otherwise, it will not work. Keep your cursor over there, and then set as default. So that comes in the first line actually. The default is not enabled. It is for all the orgs. But in the low priority, if an explicit entry is not there, the system will be picking up this account as an accrual account. So click on second close one. The second account is now set. Go there. Then the third account is the invoice price variance account. There are plenty of accounts to be set now, but I know uh, telling it only from the procurement perspective actually. Invoice price account organization thing goes like that. And then US chart of accounts is the our uh, chart of accounts actually thing goes like that. So let me add it now. Put it on plus one. And then now add what? Take a copy of it. And then invoice price will set as default. It is not set as default now. Go there. Click on it. So click on second close. In the meantime, we'll now go to the monitor process and see how three accounts have been set up. Click on it. And also go there. <coughs> uh, delete stage data. If that comes, then 
is what is no complete actually. So we were running for the manufacturing work definitions basically. Oh, it's all slow actually. Update reference data documents for NTT. So many things are running. Ah. I don't want to target it, huh? Netchain will be running fast actually. Oh. Okay, I'll come back to the accounts again now. So three of the accounts has been set, and then one more account is also required. I'm going to set now. It's a work order. So this is a work order account. This has to be set properly. Open the work order. And then I'm now working on 00 to R. And go there. So for the US startup accounts, and go there. So it is it's 002 is already there. So we have an entry for 002. Right with this. Otherwise, you make all the four with the star, 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 star. Fine. And then so they have inventory R. The work order of inventory purchasing category and item of all these things as a star, this account. So we have a 00 to R already there. Otherwise, we have to make one with all star also. And that's it. These are the four basic accounts which are required for purchasing as well as manufacturing. I will not give a cancel. I'm not saving it because I have not done anything at all. Apart from that, the cost of goods is also required from a financials perspective, actually. <laughs> cost of goods sold, COGS account. So this is required from a financials perspective because they will be doing that, uh, they will be doing the margin calculation and things now. So for the US chart of accounts, if you come and see, it's not there. So again, we're not there. So I will not add one thing up under that. So click on plus. Deferred cogs. Uh, deferred cogs, I don't know. <laughs> they will also be setting it up. Plenty of things they set up, not fine. Deferred cogs also they will set up. But I don't know how to do it, or how to use it also. Who is this? Deferred cogs? Bala. Bala, Bala. Okay, man. So how to do it, I don't know. So here also, when I set it up as what? As a star. How come the M001 is coming here? I don't have it at all. I want to add it. So let me give a plus now. Accounting I want to learn, but uh, nobody is teaching me. That's the biggest problem. Set as default, I will now have all the star over here now. Okay, how come all the star is not coming here? Can I put a star manually? No idea at all. I'm putting manually a star now. I think it has oh. come in the down circle. Just scroll down at the end. Uh... Oh, oh, it would have gone down in the bottom. Huh? Oh, so many are there again. Come out of this window and do one more time. Uh, no, no, I will not give a cancel on the because yeah, yeah, it will the... stop our activity on supply chain actually. Yeah, yeah. This is all required only from my financial perspective. I have no cancel it. I am not doing it actually. <clears throat> So, no, the in the work the order, also, we, we will query the same deferred cogs and then we'll put the deferred or... cogs. Huh? Maybe yeah. the deferred cogs also will be there. Now. There are plenty of accounts there, not only deferred cogs. D, F, E, R, E, not deferred cogs. Yeah, deferred cost of the soul. There are plenty of things to be set up now. Fine. We'll talk to financials and then set it up. Go to the monitoring and then see whether the <clears throat> thing is completed or not. Afterwards, I had to run the what's called your uh, uh, refresh and start also. That will also take another 10 15 minutes basically. Oh, God, this kind of thing. Yeah, it's a flat list. You can see hierarchy. Oh, oh, oh. hierarchy will not show me fast. Huh? So here it will show, I mean, you are the main request. The main request. Of the, yeah. the collection request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. From that. there, you can drill too. Uh, so you can see the collection job got succeeded. This has got succeeded, but this is of a what one? What cut kind of delete stage data is of what? Oh, you, you can you can drill to the collection job set. Yeah, just do refresh your Nana sir. Refresh. Well, the latest one, everything will be having a work to work at kind of delete stage data as a lost data actually. Seems like it is already collected. It's done. The collection is done, sir. Okay, then we will not run the refresh. Schedule new process and then do the refresh. So, refresh and start. 
the last activity of the GOPS. <coughs> Let me run it for all. <coughs> so click on OK. And then I don't know on what and all we had run now. Fine. Uh, nobody is giving any clear idea on this now. So I am now running on all. All parameters I'm enabling it now because I'm moving it for the first time. So let me enable it for all the parameters. I did the collections in a phased manner, but here a refresh and start, I'm not doing it on a whole lot. So I will do one thing. In the meantime, I will now make a local manufacturing work order, not for the sales order, and then I will now show it to you. So what I will do is I will now make a thing, then I will now go to sales order and do it. And this is the last step of this activity actually. So it will not take a longer time. So what I do is I will now go there and then I will now create a what's called a work order in this place. So go there, click on it. Let me make a work order. <coughs> so I go there, I go to the supply chain execution, and I go to the work execution now. Till now, we were in the work definition. I go to the work execution, and then I'm going to work. I'm going to do it. So we are not doing any supply chain collaboration in this case, right? Yeah, only when the sales order comes in, the supply chain collaboration will come more fine. But sales order itself, we are not into more <laughs> concurrents are running now. No setup wise, are we setup not doing wise, nothing is required for a supply chain orchestration? It's all inbuilt actually. Okay, now what happens? You go there, and then I'm in this place. Now work execution. Let me create a work order manually. So go to the manage work orders. We'll not do it once when the uh, this concurrence complete. Now fine. <coughs> Refresh and start our promising servers is now running. Now. So once when it gets completed, we'll now do the sales order. So in the meantime, what happens? We go there. We are going to make a work order. So click on it. We'll go there. So click on manage work orders, and then I'm going to create a work order for this. So click on plus and then let me create a work order. And there are multiple ways of creating it now. I will create a standard work order for this. On 002 org, remember the org has to be very correct. Go there. I will now put my item over here now. I'm putting my item over here. <clears throat> Is it interesting? Anybody? Or very boring? <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I am putting item and I'm going for only two quantities now. Thank you. Click on two quantities and then click on save and edit now. And click on save and edit. So I'm going to edit it. Save and edit. I'm editing it. So I will now edit it and then I will now release the job basically. You know, the unreleased, that's fine. Let me release it. Released. The job is released. So if you go and then have a look at the operations, the operations, two operations there. So one of the laptop assembly and then laptop testing. <coughs> so these are the two operations now. Okay. And then click on save and close by which the work order number. 021056 is the work order number. Click on save and close. <coughs> now, the push component has to be now done now. So if you go there, if you go there. So the push component has to be, first of all, we have to create a movement request and then do a pick confirmation. Now. We have to create a movement request and then pick confirmation. And go there. So click on it. Is that 1056 now? Right? The number. So in the import process, click on what happens uh, uh, on the on the manufacturing setups, not this one, and this one. Pick material for work orders. On the execution production, pick material for work orders. I'm going to pick. And click on the pick material for work order. Yeah, I I earlier asked the same question. Why only this particular item we made this as a push? Just for understanding purpose only. Uh, you can make in any way whatever you want. Fine, make a test of it. <laughs> Fine, we'll now see the result. And then afterwards, you can make whatever way you feel like. I just want to show you the difference of a push and operation pull. Now, fine, no, that, I'll not show you. So, this is the organization. So, go there. No, so, no, that, pushing it in the manufacturing area now. I know pushing it in the work area. From work order. I will now place the work order number. Fine, you have now the work order number. And the two work order numbers also the same thing. For this only, I'm now going to launch, launch the picking now. Fine. The pick release process will be launched for only this or quarter. It has got two components only. So the one when the remaining things are all okay, and then click on submit. So the pick release process is now going to create a moment request. Fine, click on it for two two components each of this. No, fine. The work order itself is for two, and then every component is one. And so what happens? It will be for two 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 each. We'll see, but how it's coming? Fine, click on submit now. So we are submitting it. <clears throat> so the concurrent eight eight six is running now. 
actually go there and then have a look at the calculator 1056 is our work order number fine you don't remember it actually wo002 1056 is our work order number so you know have a look at the concurrent and go to the tools and then go to the scheduled process <coughs> The monitor refresh and start for promising server is passed actually. Ah, it's not taking long, long time. So go there. In this place, the 886 is the one. So pick materials for the work orders is now passed. 886 is now passed. So once when it completes. And now go back to the flat list there instead of higher. Oh. <laughs> You have to toggle between this and uh, flat list. 886 is the number I know. 2713 name 886. Oh, God, the instance itself has become so heavy. Uh, Nanaji, correct me my understanding actually. Uh, uh, one second, one second, one second. Print movement request pick slip report is there. Let me have a look at it. Tell me, yeah. So output is coming. So let me replenish my republish it and then do it. Click on it and then export to PDF now. So print material pickle proposed non rank. This is going to create a movement request actually. Click on second. So this system has already created, we are now printing it only. So the moment moment request pixel report actually. Go there. So it has got all the one, two, three. See one. What is this here? Movement request number so and so. This is for the motherboard for two quantities. I know that. So, but why it is coming here? It is an operation pool actually. I don't know why this fixed lip report is not putting it. But the uh, this will not be allocated. I think when you when you go for the allocation, I think the Dell motherboard will not be allocated. The next one is what your. 2 TB hard disk. This is again what if you don't know how to get it in the one. So 16 GB RAM is only push. This is also operation pull. I think allocation will not happen for the 2 TB hard disk also. It is not showing you this one. And then finally, your 16 GB RAM is not shown as well. So this is the only one which is going to be allocated. And out of the three components, and out of the, these are the three components now. So uh, uh, request line is one, three, four is coming. I don't know why two is not coming. Two to each. And then this is a 16 GB RAM is only going to be allocated because it's a push actually. This is an operation pull. And then this is an operation pull. This will be consumed only during your movement of material on your shop floor actually. Let us see. So uh, the third line is uh, not allocated. And that is a service item. It is not quite oh, a service item. Huh? Yeah, that is a service item. That's why it's not allocated. That is uh, not a common problem. These are all only raw materials actually. No, no, the the, the uh, Dell 16 GB RAM, that yeah. is a service yeah. item? No, it is not a service item. Where you are saying it is not allocated. So it, there is no destination, right? No, no, sorry, not allocation. There is no destination. Where is the destination? Destination sub inventory and locator. Yeah. Oh. So for the yeah, third yeah, yeah. one, it is This not indicates allocated. that it is a push. Exactly. You are very correct. <clears throat> Since so this item is a push, fine. It is not going to uh, what happens a pull from any particular one, but based upon your picking rule, it is going to pick now. Very correct. 16 GB RAM is a push type, and it is not going to take it up from any of this particular sub inventory. Based upon your picking rule, it will not pick now. Item may be available in stores, some other MPA or some other sub inventories, but the picking rule is going to allocate this notch. No, 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 sir. The pick is already generated because it is showing open pick. But when you pick it and when you drop it, it will go directly into the job. Of course, naturally. But it these two things be... will not be done <coughs> on our, uh, on our the pick confirmation will not be done. We'll not see this. We'll not serial number is also allocated, right? It shows huh? the serial number. Serial number is also. Yeah, serial number is also allocated. Okay. So okay. Ideally, ideally. Serial number uh, of this item is allocated. Uh, yeah. What about the hard disk? Hard disk serial number is also allocated, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All these things are allocated here. Yeah. Come on. No, no, uh, sir. Uh, the uh, the destination what is not behaving like EBIS. EBIS will never allocate the operation pull components at all during pixel report. I think there is a profile option or some. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe. You can control. So, as you're saying, serial numbers are also allocated. 
That means what the pick slip is allocating, even for the operation pool, it is allocating it. We will now have a look at it. So let me go there. I will now go to Notepad. No. Oh, this is very tricky one here. <clears throat> there is a pick slip number now. Slip number. What is the number? 173540. There is a pick slip number. So let me query the pick slip number. And then I will not try to do the pick confirmation for this one. 173540 is the one. Any doubts on this now point? Shall we go to the pick confirm now directly? So the serial components are allocated by your uh, what happens? Uh, pick material components. On the pick material components, even though it is an operation pool, it is allocated. We will not see whether it, it, it does the transaction also there. <clears throat> we'll know how to get it. 305, 306. Fine with that. I won't take a note of it. There is a 305, 306. And then the previous one is what? Uh, it is a setup in EBS also. None of that in uh, include backflush items also. But how come it has come this year? 201 and 209. Why in the gap? I couldn't understand this. One. The 16 GB RAM has got a gap. Come on. How come it has allocated like this? Samaj <clears throat> The 16 GB RAM has a 201 and 209, and then your uh, it's called hard disk has got a 305 to 306. Okay, we will not try to do the peak confirmation for this. So let us not perform the peak confirmation. We'll have to go to inventory and then do it now. <clears throat> for the peak confirmation, okay, what is the status now? Here we have to see on the hierarchy now. Right? On the <laughs> click on the hierarchy and then have a look at it now. Come on, come on. Hierarchy means what? Upload reference documents. Oh God, where is my refresh and start order promising server? I forgot the number one. It is very difficult in this place now, actually. <laughs> okay, so I will now go there. I will now go to inventory and then do the pick confirmation. Pick, uh, what happens? Uh, pick release is now done. What is the supply chain execution? I go to the inventory. Uh, and start the order from the complete access. Not complete. How, how are you saying now? It is not saying, uh, oh, he is not saying it's passed actually. Oh. Not yet completed. So I will now go there, go to the inventory and then go there. I will now do the pick, go to the pick now and drop it down and then go to the pick now. And then I go to the Confirm picks. So I have the pick number. So the pick number is what? 173540. 173540 is the pick number. Let me confirm the pick. So during confirmation, system has allocated. We can override these numbers also. <coughs> pick slip. 173540. 173540 is the one. So let me go and then search for this now. So you now have the pick slip number over here now. We'll now see how many are available for a lock for transaction actually. Pick confirmation transaction. How many are available? We're going to see this. Out of the three. We go there. So there is a pick slip number now. Find 173540. And click on it and then open it up now. In the work order 101056. We'll now see how many are available. There are three open picks are available now. I'll go there, on. So the first one is a C8 once again. I'm going to make it. Two TB hard disk now. So it says from serial number to two serial numbers. So the inventory in charge is going to make a change now. And 305 to 306. Let me make a change to 308 now. So click on search now. You can even override the system's allocation actually. So you now make it as a 308. And then the two number is 309. So this is now changed to 308 to 309. One change we have made. Right. Two GB hard disk. Fine. So you can even select all now. 16 GB RAM. It is multiple, it is no same. We leave it as such you know, the multiples we now keep it as such you know, and I'm changing it now. 201 and 209 is a multiple. And then here, motherboard is a two component. Now. So I will now select all and then I will now confirm it now. We will now go on and see whether the inventory is decremented or not. Got it now? So I have a doubt that inventory will not be decremented or not. 
except for the push one now. If you see, the push one is here. Sir, uh, inventory will yeah. not be decremented. See, it is just a pick request from. No, pick confirmation is going to what happens? Uh, bring it in into the staging area actually. Staging area. So inventory is remaining, right? You have not issued to the job. Okay. okay. So inventory oh, is not decremented. Inventory is not issued to the job. You are saying no. Okay. Yes. So when you issue to the job, or that is but when operate. Sixteen GB RAM is a push one now. Fine. It has to be issued now. Push has to be issued, but pull hmm. complete the operation, it will automatically decrement the inventory. One second, one second. No, confirm and close. Let me confirm it. So the system is allocated through a pick release, and then I'm now confirming it now. Pick confirmation and yes. confirm and close. Let me go and then have a look at the stock. Right. Motherboard, let me go and then look at the stock. So let me go and then look at the stock here now. Click on it. Make it in the inventory and then have a look at the stock. I'll go to the manual item quantities. So here I go there. I will not take a copy of the motherboard. We are around the thousand quantities, no? We are a thousand quantities. So click on search now. So thousand is intact now. Right? That means it is not issued at all. So the pick confirmation is now uh, reserving or something like that. It is not doing no? Fine. This is what is happening. No, no, sir. Uh, the see the source and destination was both stores. That was not correct, actually. No, no, no. Where exactly stores? If you go to that uh, report, Pixlip, huh? Pixlip uh, report. Yeah, yeah. Pixlip report. You saw that source and destination was both. No, we have given the uh, supply subinventory as source, and then the completed subinventory is completed, and then in no, the no, not not the parameter, the no, 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 no. The, you are maintaining the on hand in stores. And supply sub inventory, you have to give staging or something like that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Then the pick request will actually pick it from stores and bring okay. it to okay. okay. Now, correct, correct. once when I do this now, fine. When I do what happens, the transaction, now, fine. I will not do a movement of uh, check on view uh, item availability. One second. Let me move the assembly in the shop. Now. Let me move the assembly. Or, sir, one thing you can do is see the material transactions. Then you will see from stores to stores it will come. Okay, okay. We'll see. <clears throat> Click on it. We'll not go to what? Manage, uh, 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 no, no. Material transactions. Where is it here? Review completed transactions. Okay. Review completed transactions there. And then I'll not put the item over here. But then I'll take on search now. Three so Yeah, so what? there are three. Three items. One is the inventory by miscellaneous receipt. Yes. And then yes. minus two to plus two. Okay. So sub inventory is the yeah. same. You are saying that. It is yes. A... Yes. Yes, sir. Correct. So one that plus two, that last line should have been staging. That's fine. Staging, uh, how to mm. uh, mention the staging actually? Yeah. So that there is one default uh, okay, so supply right. type and locator, either in uh, items so plant parameters or something like that, no? or in plant parameters. Yes. yes. Plant parameters. Plant parameters. So that's why it's not coming. It's okay, good. Or uh, you can also decide in the operations level, no? Um, yes, well, you can do that. Okay. Now yes, let me the move the uh, uh, assembly now in the shop floor. So I go there. I go to the supply chain execution, and then here I go there. I will now move the assembly. Go to the work execution, then let me move the assembly. It has only two operations. Fine, go there. Check on it. So one zero five is the one. I go there. Review dispatch list. I'm going to move it. I go to the execution production. Fine, go there. Check on it. I will now choose mine now. And then here status is all now. And then query fine. We'll have only one work order here now for moving. So click on search now. So once we search for it to be coming, only one work order 105 is the one. And then I expand it. And then let me first of all complete the first operation. Fine. Operation 10, I'm going to complete. Fine. Complete with the details actually. The complete details. There is no quick complete available at all because of what happens. Some of them are serialized actually. Had it been no serialized, then quick complete will be coming. So complete with details is only coming. Fine, click on the complete with details. And go there. So this is a product. It's all okay. Click on next now. On the backflash materials, go there. Three materials has to be issued on this one. Operation 10 has got three materials. All the three are now shown over here now. It is only tick mark is already coming on your Dell motherboard now. Motherboard is a no serial control item. Operation pull, the tick mark is coming. Whereas the, what's called, the remaining ones, these are on the two different serial numbers actually. And the CK2 to be, what happens? We have different serial numbers of what? 201 and 209 actually. But uh, 
come uh, component serial number we had to allocate it for this thing and click on it component serial number we had to so i will not choose 3 not 3 now and then 3 not 4 and no making a change also here so not not this one ஒர்க்கோஸ் Right. No, no, sir. Um, uh, what might have happened is since you have uh, done a component quick release, mm. so now you allocated the material for that uh, push. Okay. It will get directly issued to the job. Here you are only doing. I made a change on the hard disk now. Fine, hard disk was initially the system has allocated like this now. The system has allocated. Oh, that's fine. You are doing back flush. I made a change here, and then here I am making another change now. Okay. No, 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 sir, the... sir, you did not do, you did not do a transact components. Ah, pishu. Yeah, yeah. You are only doing back flush while completion. Okay, okay. So your first step would have been whip pishu. So ah. you transact components or something like that on um, uh, somewhere. So when you do that, it will get directly issued to the job. Okay. One thing which I understood is what operation ten, operation ten. which has got a push component is not coming for your operation ten, uh, transaction at all got it no fine it is not coming here at all uh, so uh, what is the on hand for uh, push component so i think we are having 10 10 each so did you check uh, whether it is 10 now because you completed only when i complete it i can check it up so we will not go there you want now itself you want to check it yeah maybe maybe yes yes maybe okay i will not go there let me check it now itself you are trying to analyze this now <laughs> no no i think it will be 9 i think it will be 9 because when you completed the pick confirm it uh, directly got issued one second is it there was no staging sub inventory when <laughs> one year you want your yes yes so i want to go that take on the inventory and then one item quantities and now go to the what's called the, the push one now take cover of 16 gb ram and now query for this now so click on search and querying it now so it is 8 only ah, 8 so yes, it is already sir. consumed actually ah. yes it is consumed sir go and see account view completed transaction see that with issue okay that may be a whip issue no the yes, push is not whip issue so go to the review completed transaction for this item it will be a whip issue ah, you have to study properly and then give things now it is a work order issue okay yeah that is whip issue hmm. so it has done so because there was no staging sub inventory mentioned either on uh, you know the operation level what it has done is when you did pick confirmation it issued to the job directly ha 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 not have c gate which is now had gone to the intermediate stay uh, sub inventory and then from there now only it is now getting issued to the shop floor good yes good. now when you do back flush for operation pull you are getting all these three uh, all these two actually there are two three all the three are operation pull they are not coming over here from the yes. staging in the intermediate area it will yes. be pushed into vip yes 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 nana ji this is what i was telling that you know when when oem is actually owning one particular item they do this push uh, you know uh, for that particular item so that when they ship this uh, you know when they issue this to the work order it will be directly issued to onto the work order when you submit yeah, yeah. one intermediate area is also coming over 
So click Nana on ji, one Google. second, one second. Nana ji, one second. Go back once. So uh, here, when you see, um, you know, the component serial number, mm-hmm. you are able to select anything, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. We can select anything now. No, no, no the system. problem is, I'll tell you, uh, sir, your stores and your staging is the same location, right? Mm-hmm. That you are getting all the component serial numbers. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you had stores where you are keeping inventory and the staging of inventory different, then you get only those component serial numbers. That uh-huh. have- Whatever you have. No, you see, it is not allowing you now. I made a change to the, your staging now. And then again, I'm making a change to this place. It's allowing. No, that is from next time, sir. This this one, you have already done the pick confirmation. Yeah. So it's not come. Pick confirmation, I have already done. Uh, yes. The pick confirm, I have brought it to the intermediate storage area for staging. I think. Now it is not to the intermediate area. area. No, but yours to both are stores, right? Both are stores. stores. Yeah, okay. Fine. That yeah, that's why it is coming. So click on next stop line. It has to be analyzed fully. Fine. Click on save and close by which what happens. I'm now completing operation 10. Now I will now go on and look at the stock. Look at the item because they are all operation full. So motherboard has to come down. And then as well as my this thing also has to come down. Fine. My 16 GB RAM has already come down. Fine. The 2 DG, 2 GB hard disk also has to come down. So I will now do this done. Go to this place. First of all, motherboard will now go on and have a manage item quantities and then have a the motherboard now. Motherboard operation completion now come down by two quantities. So click on search now. Yeah, it has now come down. Similarly, what happens? You go there. Uh, I will now have a look at the two TB hard disk. <clears throat> So I had to sit and then clearly draw things about how it's all happening actually. So this is also coming up. Let's go. And so once when the final inventorization happens, then the final operations about that it will be getting inventorized actually. So you know, and then so operation two quantities at operation 10 of the work order is now completed. Next operation is operation 20 actually. So 20 has come along and then I can open it up. And then 20. So here quick complete is coming because there is no serial item over there now. So if serial items are there, quick complete is not coming. Then click on quick complete by which what happens? The item gets completed and then inventorized. Nana sir, to add add a point here. So we are discussing about the yearly. There is a cycle count uh, count point option is right. Yeah. So if you not enable the cycle uh, count point option, uh, for example, if you are not enable for the sequence number ten, then mm-hmm. the status comes as a optional. System want to. Complete the work. Uh, it will be optional. Uh, you may do, you may not do. Yeah, exactly. Even if you don't do, it will be consumed. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Count point is like this. Yeah. Yes. So click on done. Our point goes We'll now have a look at our stock now of our FG now. I'll go to that. It's called FG. I'll go to the manage item quantities and then expand it. And then have a look at the FG now. Click on search now. So FG has now become two. Now we will now create a sales order and then from there we will now create a work order. Click on download. So we have to log out and log in because after having done all this concurrence now, we have to log on and log in. And then we will now create a sales order for this. Let us now create a sales order now. So go, they go to the order management and then you go to the order management and then create a sales order. So click on create order. I will not put any customer over here now. So go there. I will not populate our finished good item over here now. Take power it and uh, click on this now. It will be 110, I think. We are given a 110 price. So it has to come over here now. So I will not put the quantity as three now. So three is the one. So one, it was saying in stock. Three, you should say it is not in stock. Click on add now. 
So we have a two stock actually. Stock is two now. So only for one quantity it has to create a work order because we already have a two stock. So we go to this place and then we go to the supply area and then populate our warehouse of 002. Non transfer populated. So give us see and then we have no supply this. So since we have a stock of two, it has to create a work order only for one actually. So pick nine seven three seven nine is the one point nine seven three seven nine is the sales order. The submitted. So the GOP has to uh, interface it to manufacturing. So we have done all the setups of GOP. So that has to interface it to manufacturing. So it has to consider the on hand quantity of two and then do it nine seven three seven nine. Click on refresh now. Automatic pending is my processing. Go there. Switch to full menu. Nine Go to the fulfillment lines and then how it works. So I'm sorry, I just missed it. So you why you gave three quantities sir, in the sales order? I just put it. Okay. Customer wants three, and then I'm putting it. Then we have a stock of two. Oh yeah. Okay. You can put any content. I'm not going to get demand. This is not the representation of demand. So click on refresh. So the reservation has got changed to request orchestration, supply requisition, not complete now. So click on refresh. Now the past task will be getting completed. And then it will be going to awaiting shipping actually. Pass is now completed. So the ship back to back will now begin and then it will now go to awaiting shipping. Oh God, somebody has customized the do. The customized do is firing itself. Only original do will now take me to what happens on a back to back make now. I don't know what this guy has done. <laughs> People are playing so much of a thing. So it will now go to what happens, awaiting shipping. It does not want a wedding shipping. We will not see whether any back to back order is created or not. Click on this one. Go to the supply rails. Click on the order. Click on the supply rails. Back to back order is created, then he has not modified anything. Now. Oh, God. The back to back order is not completed. So, yes, customized with the great expansion. Um, so, sir, but the, how this orchestration process picked up this custom? Uh... We can create our own custom uh, orchestration process. We can make it. But how the sales order has picked up this custom program, sir? Because this custom of process? The, uh, what's called uh, process assignment rules. Uh, in the process assignment rules for sales orders, we must have done it actually. Something else. Yeah, I'm not aware of it. So, my back to back order is gone. I, I need only a generic process. <laughs> I mean, we can go to process assignment rules and we can disable this actually. Okay. I mean, uh, it will pick the standard one. You want to do that now? You want to try it now? So let me try that now. I don't know which one is no representative. I'm going to have a now. But it has to be put on the order type also, no? Order type is also required for that. Maybe uh, we are not sure what uh, ah, rule they have passed. You must have done so through some other thing. Okay? There are business yeah, rules yeah. are there. Some yeah. other uh, things are there. So it yeah. Just remove that, so it will pick the standard one. Manage sales orders, manage business sales percentage, order percentage. So manage process assignment rules for sales orders. Yes, correct. Because of it, that's firing now. Bob Bray, this many things are there now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. Pro GS GSC OU process. This one, huh? Is already disabled actually. Uh, manual process. Yeah. Oh, which item you have selected, sir? Uh, just a minute. My item. Uh, your item. GSC order fulfillment generally. Uh, one minute. Okay. Uh, I will now leave it at this stage now. Fine. So if it is a one, then it will be creating an order. In which case, what happens if, since we already have a stock of two, it will now create a work order only for one quantity. 
so that is the way uh, because we don't want to go in depth into order management actually so sir, the SIN process, will not balance the supply click, and then do it now. sir last click assign process what is it what is it That's assign good. process assign process this, this one third one third one sir third one assign process you want to disable it let me disable it now assign process no edit no 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 one minute one minute actions edit and then see if it has got oh, okay what are it delete only we do any disable it and edit then save and close now assign process is not disabled for its logistics GSE manual chip or GSE manual chip. GSE manual chip. This also we want to disable it now. So disable it. Save it. And then I will not publish it. You can't publish now. Yes. Yes. This is the last attempt. Then it is not working. Then delete it. But so many guys are working on it now, and uh, the dictionary was published. So let me go and then log on and log in now. And then get a sales order. Then it is again happening the same way. Then we leave it as such. Maybe S C M High Tech uh, Supreme Fitness is there. That one also actually. High Tech Manufacturing is there. Not a one. customer. These are not because of customer. Because of your uh, process only, it is not happening. You can put any customer. Doesn't matter. So click on create order. You are saying you want your customer now. Fine, is a is a C M I Tech? No, no, no. No, oh. uh, I, I was telling about the uh, process assignment rules. We oh. have to disable that as well. Oh. Yeah. Go the and then uh, paste it. Go for is it seven quantities now? In stock, it is showing one also in stock, seven also in stock. How come? Yeah. The addict, and then go there, and then put the supply as what zero zero two. Oh, okay, man. Is it? And then I'll click on save, and then submit it. Where else is it put? Of course, nine seven three zero is a one. This is not submitted. Refresh. Make lots of warranty and then leave it as such. So just to fulfillment line. Click on refresh. Put the fulfillment lines. Click on this number. Hey Murga, I don't want the custom. Oh God, that one is coming in the top actually. <laughs> okay, with this we complete this marathon session actually, and it's almost two and a half hours now. any doubts any questions from anybody oh still 18 people are there very good great actually yeah my only question is on that uh, push sir yeah you avinandan yeah, can talk to yeah mm -hmm. uh, talk to avinandan regarding that now fine uh, he is uh, suggesting that when you perform a push what happens uh, uh, it uh, brings in via one intermediate area since i have kept stores as a basic one everywhere So somewhere we had to change it and then do it. No, that that I understand. Uh, the you know the supply type should be staging and all that I understand. Oh. And uh, yeah, I'm aware of that. What I'm trying to say is, when when you are doing uh, you know when you are creating the sales order from a OEM site, oh. you and you are the one you are supplying for one part. Then yeah. in that case, you will do a push. That's what my understanding. Because you will, yeah. we are supplying the items. You are saying that the miscellaneous receipt is not correct. You are saying that that's correct actually. Miscellaneous no, no, receipt is not allowed. It when you perform a transfer order, it will allow it. OSP also will allow it. No, that is all good. Uh, I am not saying anything on that. I am saying that is equivalent you know, to push only. Your push also will allow it, and uh, your transfer order also is going to allow it. When when OEM is supplying the item. Our part. The component. When the OEM is supplying the what's called your uh, then it should be a push. The mother RAM as well as the push. motherboard. Yeah. Then, then it will be a push. That's what I'm saying. OEM is supplying the item. But there's no then way it... of mentioning a push anywhere there. Maybe feeling like a push, but uh, it's uh, allocation actually. 
allocating the medical push is good allocate so it's still not coming so somebody uh, who works on it fine uh, make the complete setup fine i will be can i can i check this setup and uh, uh, you know modify the process assignment rules yeah yeah you try you try see is only one thing okay okay you try everything uh, you in your system so whatever you try different different portions and then see how exactly they are doing that's for understanding goes and we made it good then fine i will be uploading it into the common database of ours as well as in my uh, forum of my website also this particular one along with the video record actually so it is uploaded and then uh, let us hope that uh, we will now bring in more and more informative sessions on this manufacturing so any training you are planning sir like no, i'm not actually learning yet i'm not getting the mood actually <laughs> so okay. first thing has to be learned and then uh, i have to learn uh, was called uh, your lead time management and then uh, your uh, process manufacturing everything had to be learned now when i am opening the book i am feeling sleepy <laughs> <laughs> so only when i learn i will go to okay so if you are planning to start like uh, manufacturing cloud or like planning Maybe planning is really tough one because I'm not able to understand it. I'm not getting a grip on that subject, like that. and that too with this collections now, I'm feeling really ill. Okay. So much of collections. The vision instance uh, goes slow, or something happens, and then we lose the mood actually for learning. Hmm. So how do you feel, all of you? Fine. Bagia, you are also there. Very good. Bagya, did you find the session interesting for you, Agnesh? Oh, I think everybody has got totally tired. I think. <laughs> can, can I speak to you after the session, Nana, for a few minutes? If you are available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm available. One second. I will uh, stop the recording now. Is there any other uh, discussions? Anybody else who wants to discuss on this now? Okay. Thank you. Okay, Benya. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, Benya. Thank you, Nana, sir. Stop. Thank you. Recording. I'm going to stop now. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Fine. Session was useful, sir. Very, very useful. Some lights you threw on the topic. <laughs> yeah. I'll be uploading it to YouTube actually. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye now, fine. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay.